seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ninja Guy X here and a happy second anniversary to Stadia. My top 5 moments over the last 2 years are when Cyberpunk came out on Stadia, the Summer Community Championship, and the community that surrounds us in general, uh, the unbelievable support that we have from Ubisoft, and the new technology with the touch control that we have on mobile recently which is awesome. What's up gamers, Jem here and happy second Stadiaversary to you all. There's been so many great Stadia moments and events through these last two years such as Stadia Super Saturday, also when Phil Harrison came onto the Ubisoft stage, the Rainbow Six Siege event where we all made teams and battled with each other, I loved it when Immortals Phoenix Rising got leaked for a few minutes and of course the community is what made the two years great. Thanks for having me, this is Jem and I'm looking forward to year three. No, ça filme pas. Bon anniversaire Stadia. 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 Deux ans déjà qu'on a la chance de jouer dans le cloud avec vous. La communauté est vraiment ce qui rend Stadia encore plus incroyable. Et ce n'est que le début. Alors, à bientôt sur Stadia. 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 À bientôt sur Stadia SR. Allez, ciao les amis. Hey everyone, Squids here. Happy anniver second anniversary, Stadia. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what got me started. It was this Chromebook that I got for free. Division 2 for $10. I got Destiny 2 for free. And a hot wasabi. Mm -mm. That's how you do it. Still remember the first time I fired up Destiny 2. And I remember thinking at the time, my god, they've only gone and done it. Google have only gone and proved that cloud gaming can really work. It was smooth, fast and responsive. And with the ever expanding pro library and games in store, I've never spent as much on games. And what, can I say something? No, I've only got 30 seconds. Anyway, from me and Lord Kenzel, here's to the future. Happy two year anniversary. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Stadia. Oh Lord, Sontione. Stadia. Happy birthday Stadia and to all the Stadians, a super amazing community. I've been a founder since day one and since day one I've been playing on Stadia. I probably have like 160 games at the moment on Stadia. Played some of them and probably could have played more. I actually never finished one game because all I've been playing is Destiny over 2300 hours in that game that's like three months back to back yeah. hey guys spg here i just wanted to give a big shout out to google stadia for their two-year anniversary their stadia -versary. Uh, the technology is so awesome. I shared it with all of my friends. Uh, I put the controller in their hand and they couldn't believe it. No downloads. Uh, 
any screen you own you can play on. It's just fantastic. Keep up the great work and please, please keep bringing us those fantastic games and features. All right. Thank you, Google Stadia. I can't wait to see what you bring us in the future. Muy buenas, soy Marquis y en estos dos años hemos pasado de todo. Hemos descubierto nuevas formas de jugar gracias a Google Stadia. Poder jugar en el PC, cambiar al móvil, cambiar a la tablet. También hemos pasado muchísimo miedo. Bueno, si hay luz, a mí me da igual. Además también gracias a las funciones de Google Stadia como Crow Choice y Crow Play Esto ha sido una forma de interactuar con la audiencia que yo siempre he querido tener aquí En serio me voy a hacer poder destruir el pobre cerebro Destruir el cerebro <risa> Además aparte hemos conocido a gente maravillosa de la comunidad Venga Marquis Este mapa se lo conozco Salta chancada, el escaleras arriba salta chancada Es donde me estás prendiendo fuego, ¿no? Dale. Buena. Buena. Y todo esto ha sido gracias a Google Stadia Thank you Stadia, thank you Google, feliz aniversario Y os llevo a Viene Corazoncito Stadians What's going on guys? It's the cowboy here and I just want to say happy second Stadia anniversary and I got two things to say to you Stadia. Number one, thank you for allowing me to play my favorite games wherever, whenever, and on whatever devices I feel like picking up. And number two, I want to say thank you Stadia for allowing me to be a part of and help create an amazing community of gamers all over the globe and with that said once again stadia happy second stadia anniversary from your guy this is the cowboy oh man because of stadia i played more games in the past two years than the previous 20 months Make it. and it really helped arthur and i connect too and the best stadia Four, done. Hard. what's your favorite game on stadia What's your favorite feature of Stadia? What's up everybody? It's Ray3473. I am the gaming cyborg. Happy Stadia anniversary. I only have seconds, so I just wanted to talk about my best moment in the Stadia anniversary. Uh, it has to be getting this wonderful Stadia premiere when I got Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, one of my favorite games. We got a day and date on Stadia. Happy Stadia anniversary. This is Ray3473. I am the gaming cyborg. Peace. Right, we bought it, we play it. Welcome to Stadia, guys. But uh, it's your choice, I'm not gonna roll the dice. Ah, something will go wrong now, I guess. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Will this be the run? What? Come on, this is it! <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Let's go. Not much I could do, dress man. You run to my knife, that's how you play this game. Bill, <laughs> how you doing? Uh-oh, uh-oh, watch out, watch oh. out. Oh. GG, big boy, GG. GG. <laughs> GG's. Stadia, the last two years, holy crap, it has been a wild ride to say the least. But the thing that I think about and really sticks out to me about this whole thing for the past two years has been really the community you guys i mean it's because of you guys i get up in the morning and i get excited to make content i get excited to make videos i get excited to hang out with a bunch of awesome people i think that has absolutely been the very best thing the thing that gets me excited is to hang out with all you cool folks i mean holy crap if it wasn't for you guys who knows what i'd be doing so Definitely shout out to the entire Stadia community, and I cannot wait for the next 20 years, guys. Uh, this is gonna be insane fun, and the wild ride is just beginning. What's up, Stadia? It is your boy Mim2K wishing you a happy second birthday. And I just want to say, it felt like it was just yesterday to where I felt lost as a streamer, but came across this platform, this beautiful platform that allowed me to get reinvigorated into gaming again and to come across this fantastic Stadia community. So I want to do nothing but wish you all the best. I can't wait to see what the future beholds. And thank you so much for getting me back into gaming. Until next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.
Rock, they said. Show us what you've been doing over the last two years with Google Stadia. What? Were they having a laugh? <laughs> Happy second anniversary, Google Stadia. Boy, has it whipped past. And we've all had a blast. Here's to the next, and the next, and the next. Rock out. What started as me being excited by the concept quickly turned into the catalyst of a resurgence of gaming in my life. From that first moment of trying it out, to the many hours spent in ancient Greece, I got to share gaming experience with my kids, meet new friends, and play more than ever. With Stadium in this community, I found a home. Thanks for all the memories and many more to come. Happy Stadiversary from That Place Games. is the second anniversary of Stadia anniversary. This is the second year anniversary of Stadia. A special video to you guys. I'd like to thank John Scott for inviting me onto this. And the best games that I enjoyed playing for Google Stadia especially is Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 I enjoyed on the stage. It was one of the main reasons why I got the platform. Playing Resident Evil Village, I freaking had a blast playing that game. It all started with a click. Happy second birthday, Stadia. As always, I've been Vivi, and you've been awesome. My Stadia experience of the last two years and 20 seconds? Yeah! Happy second anniversary, Stadia. Happy second anniversary. Oh, I'm a, uh, I'm mute. I'm muted. Oh no, you. Yeah. I'm, I'm muted. I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Oh, it says that. Who, yeah. <laughs> the who's muted your mic? It says here. Well, I guess they're lying. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. So second, uh, happy second anniversary, guys. Anniversary. Happy second anniversary. Thank you so much for joining us today here uh, in what has been an amazing day, a whirlwind of events. Uh, for me, it just seems like the day has gone by. There's so many things going on in the community, and it's so great to see. Yeah, and it, uh, we, it, we shared before the video with me and John how much sleep we got last night. We barely <laughs> slept, but uh, we're running on fumes, and we got this in the back guys um, yeah, yeah. so um today we uh usually we we go um each turn for for hosting the the show right but this time around i'm gonna be hosting the show while john takes care uh in the back to to bring some people in and and that's something that we're going to talk about but uh, uh he, while we talk he's gonna you know take care of people that that are in the background and uh, i guess we can talk about that right now so what we want to do today, it's a very special event. Uh, so it is the second year of uh, Stadia, as you might have noticed. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I did. <laughs> and uh, what we want to do uh, as a special day, we want to bring in people in. And I, we want people to tell us their experience with Stadia, you know, what they want to have in the future uh, what first got them into Stadia and, and things like that. So, you know, like give a 10 minute spotlight to anyone who's who wants to join so everyone is welcome you just have to let us know uh, let john know in dms or twitter and he will uh, go ahead and let you know how to to get in in the channel and mean 
when, if we end up not having, uh, if we end up passing everybody, then we can we can just go on and pass on the news and and the community news and and that. But the most important thing today is to celebrate the community with Stadia, and uh, you know uh, just give a chance to everybody to express uh, how how fun they're having with with the console. Yeah, Platform. definitely. So so let's before we we bring on, we're going to bring on two guests here. Uh, first, uh, it's going to be Brandon and Rock. So the, they're on, they're waiting backstage here. But before we bring them on here and they talk about Stadia, just want to, to mention that uh, we're giving away three games today during the, uh, the show. So the first game, which is actually the, the raffle is open now. You just type exclamation mark raffle. It's Paw Patrol the movie Adventure City Calls. So if you want to enter the raffle in order to win that game, just type exclamation mark raffle, hit enter. And in about 30 minutes or so, we'll draw a winner. And then we'll go on to uh, our second game that we're going to give away. It's Outcasters with some DLC. And we're going to close out the show uh, with Far Cry 6. So we're going to be giving that away on Stadia. And uh, all compliments of the developers. Thank you so much, uh, for donating these prizes for today's special show. And we are going to have, we'll, we'll talk about it more near the end of the show, Mark Woodhall, uh, a good friend. He has graciously donated a, a Stadia Premier bundle uh, to give mm -hmm. away on the show. Now, he's in the UK. So what we're going to do, this is going to be a UK only giveaway and we'll give more details at the end. But basically what will happen is in order to enter that uh, raffle for the Stadia Premier giveaway in the UK, you'll leave a comment um, after after the show and use the hashtag Stadiaversary. And uh, that way we'll be able to know whose names to put in the raffles and then we'll contact those people. So and just to let you know, guys, um, if you have to enter exclamation point raffle into John's channel because I noticed here at 1030 Media Group, you put exclamation raffle on, on my channel because we're oh. hosting it on multiple on multiple channels, but you have to do it on John's Force Card Gaming channel. Sorry, that's sorry, good. John, I, I cut yeah. you off. No, but, uh, just no, to no worries. Yeah, that, that's good to let people know here. So without further ado, we're going to bring on, let's see here, Rock and... Brandon here. Welcome. Welcome. You guys are our first live guests wow, on Stadium honest. Connect North. Thank you so much. Uh, as such, you are now uh, honorary Canadian citizens. So feel free to come, <laughs> loving to that, come eh? visit. That's right. You can uh, live, move and enjoy all the things Canadian now. So thank you again so much. That's an absolute honor, John. That's I, I, I've been to Vancouver. That's that's as far, that's the only part of Canada that I've been to, and I absolutely fell in love with the country. And I know that's the opposite side, I think, to where you are, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's on the mm. west coast there. But you no, know, that's fine. That's fine. So uh, I can learn French. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, Ninja Guy will help teach you some en français and oui, yeah. oui, bonjour, comment ça va, bienvenue. Ça va bien, merci. Yeah. That's oh, well, there you go. You got See, that yeah. already. So you got this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And we also have uh, Fans Fair Gamers Brandon here. Hey, how are you doing today? Yeah, it was nice, okay. nice to, to have you on here. So um, let's let's start out. Uh, we'll talk with with uh, Rock here. Let's share, mm -hmm. you know, some of your Stadia experience. What got you uh, interested in Stadia? What do you like about Stadia? And what, oh, what do you wow. hope to see in year three? I mean, I was I was always excited about the concept of cloud gaming anyway. Uh, as you know, John, I, I own a, a software development company. Uh, Ninja and I have, have some, uh, some, some commonalities there. Yeah. Um, and tech has always been my thing anyway. So the concept of, of cloud gaming was something I had my eye on. And then, as the rest of us, we saw the, the big announcement from, from Google that they were you know, bringing this product to market, but it was literally just months away from the announcement. So I straight away went in, put my hard dollars down to uh, to get the founders pack, and yeah, it was I think two days after launch that uh, it all turned up. And I was just blown away. Uh, I mean, you know, I was a massive Destiny fan anyway. I think by then I'd clocked up nearly 4,000 hours. Um, wow. And so I was really excited to see how Destiny played on Stadia. And I couldn't mm -hmm. believe it. It looked better 
than my then PS3 or PS4. Um, mm-hmm. And I was sold. A um, couple of months later, I, I, I thought, you know what, I'm, I love this so much that I, I think I might try my hand at podcasting. And then the dice was cast and I've been doing content around Stadia for um, almost two years, not quite. Wow. Uh, and uh, absolutely love it. To this day, I still, it blows me away. It's like magic dripping through the screen. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, like, I was a founder as well. Got it on launch day. Had, had to wait until the twentieth to get my code to activate it. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and the first game uh, was Guilt. I played Guilt on it. Played it straight, you know, from beginning to end. And I was just like amazed. Like, I can't believe I'm just playing with this with a controller. There's no hardware. I mean, the Chromecast. I'm streaming this. I'm basically streaming this video through the internet. And yeah, I'm a, and I can play it. Like, I, I can remember at least for the first month of using Stadia, like that was something that was wow. And now it's just like, it just seems normal and natural to me here. I just pick yeah. up that controller, pair it, and we're good to go. And the game's off. So that's yeah, it's it amazing totally how quickly awesome. it's just become part of our lives. Mm-hmm. And yet, literally, we're only talking two years. I know. You know I, I can't believe it. Yeah, 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 sure. So what about exciting. for you, uh, Brandon? Uh, how did you get interested in Stadia? Or when did you first find out about Stadia? Oh, Brandon, I think you're muted. I, we don't, we're not hearing you at the moment. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought yeah. No, I can't hear you here. So what we'll do, well, well, Brandon, while you while you try to figure out the audio here, we'll talk more with Rock. So just keep uh, <laughs> trying, and uh, you know, if you you come in here, it's good to go. So just yeah, scream, so and then we'll know when you when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shut yeah, up, when you're Rock! ready, and then we'll let you get on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, okay. Can't hear you yet. So uh, yeah. Rock, uh, today you've been uh, streaming for the SBCN, and. Yes. I don't know why, but the the game that you've chosen, uh, Wildland, I, I thought it was genius because you decided to, to play this one because it was released on November 19, uh, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, it, I don't know why it just blew my mind, but maybe it's Did just because of the four hours. Yeah, we can hear you. There you oh, go. Yeah. Yeah, there we are, Brandon. How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Great. That's an honor. Oh, well, we are so happy to have you on here to be able to share Stadia's second anniversary. I know you're a big Stadia fan, so I I, I made sure we reached out to you and and wanted you to come on here. And so it's so glad that you're able to. And I know you streamed earlier today for the SBCN. Uh, Can you, you know, can you just tell us a little bit about like, you know, how did you come across Stadia? What do you like about Stadia and what are some of your favorite games? Uh, was it the GOG uh, when uh, Phil Henderson and came up and, and they showed us what mm-hmm. they can do in 4K60, 120, even 8K in the future? And then they're going to show like all these games. And then mm-hmm. when it came out, you know, it, it you got to get the code a couple of days. And everybody, yep. I was on Ace and Sonny's show. Mm-hmm. And they were doing it. And then when I got my best friend, got me, Benny, got me in. And then, then I met Rock. And then I met Chase. And then I met you know, Ray. Got him on my show. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a community. I start loving it when I first saw it. It's just a in the cloud. You don't have to download games. You mm-hmm. don't have to wait for updates. You don't have to buy storage. You don't have to... Um, buy um upgrades to um for anything like it's like magic and this is going to be the future in 20 years keep going wow yeah i i totally agree all those things that you mentioned not worrying have to buy about storage like that's a big thing like you see with uh these uh, next generation or, or the current generation consoles is uh, because they come with a high speed storage there's not you don't get a whole lot of uh, storage space so you might get eight to ten games on there and then you've either got to juggle delete them or buy uh extra storage for it and I just like for cloud gaming in general, I love that we never have to worry about if we have enough space to run the game 
And, uh, you know, like you said, updates, we don't have to worry about waiting for it to update and all that good stuff. It's just like you turn it on and you play and you're ready to go. So it's awesome. Yeah. So so let's see. We'll move back to Rock here. So, Rock, what do you hope to see in year three? Now, we're entering year three now. What are what are some of the things that you're hoping to see uh, Stadia do or expand upon game wise or what have you, you know you know the thing is john i'm really happy with where stadia is technologically you know mm -hmm. for me sat eight feet away from a television screen um every game looks amazing so you know in terms of improving the tech i'm not that worried i'd love mm -hmm. to see them um certainly build on the community uh, and you know maybe get more involved with with building the helping to build the community because I think mm -hmm. one of the unique things about about Google Stadia uh, and you know there are other cloud gaming platforms we all know that and and you and I and others we all subscribe to more but mm -hmm. none of them have the community like yep. Stadia has mm -hmm. and I'd love to see I'd love to see Google get more involved with with some of the fringe aspects of Stadia not necessarily improving the tech I think the tech is great so mm -hmm. you know building on on creating that um you know, working with a community like people like you yourself and and John massive massive kudos to you my friend for what and, you've been oh, doing well no and with I that mean, in mind Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so, no, yeah no, let him no take the praise. Shut come up, ninja. Come on, come yeah. on. What the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> it's Tom Simon, so, so, you know, I'm giving him a free card there, but. Uh. No, 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 it's just, it, it, it is, you know, you know, Rock, we've been around for how long gaming, right? You know, 30 plus yeah, yeah. years, you know, mm -hmm. and I've never seen a community no. in all my time no. that. For better or for worse, you know, we do have our differences and there is some bickering, sure. But for the most part, everybody gets along. They're happy to help others, help promote, help, you know, come on and just share the sheer joy of Stadia. And I found so many new friends, everybody mm -hmm. on here uh, before I was <laughs> you know, played on Stadia. I didn't know you guys at all no. so because of no, Stadia. No. You know, we're now friends. We talk on a yep. daily basis and uh, do. everybody in the chat here as well. Mm -hmm. it, it's so great. It's, it's, it's awesome to see that a single platform can bring so many people together and, yeah. uh, you know, just have fun, enjoy. And, uh, I, I love it. Like I just it watching the video that we were able to put together mm. uh, just it literally just warms my heart, really, just to yeah. see people all from all over the yeah. world. And you know what? There was I could have added like probably 20 or 30 more people to it. There was that much uh, outreach and, and want mm. to do it. But, you know, for the sake of time, uh, we didn't. So, you know. Uh, maybe in the future there will be uh, another a video as well. But it's just it's just great to see so many people around the world enjoy Stadia and come together on something you know so great as that for sure. The, do you know? And, and it's true. And and although you know I've been in social media for for absolutely years. I mean, I've, one of my Twitter accounts has like fifteen, sixteen thousand followers. Mm -hmm. But the but the friends that I've made, you know, being able to talk to you guys literally we're live talking to each yeah. other you know thousands of miles apart and mm -hmm. and yet there's no barrier you know there's nope. there's i mean we what we've discovered is what we always knew what we already knew and that is that deep down we're all the same aren't we it doesn't matter what part yeah. of the world you know i've met people from different ethnic backgrounds different mm -hmm. religions um mm -hmm. you know that, that don't necessarily speak english as their first language and yep. I've, I've just come away thinking what a fantastic person and that's yeah. that is priceless and that's come from yeah. these two years of stadia it hasn't come from yeah. anywhere else i wasn't yeah. into any of this stuff before oh. before stadia came yeah. out yeah, and it's, it's it's like you said, it's like it's hard to believe it's only been two years. Like when I yeah. look at, I look back and I think, is it really only been two years? Like a year ago today, we were just celebrating the first anniversary. Is that right? Like it, it blows my mind. Yeah. yeah, and and it's great because this also gives um, people. Uh, who might not necessarily have that ability to go out and, and interact with people in the community, you know, mm. that friendship and to be able to talk with others and, and, and you know, the, all the camaraderie yeah. and everything is just, 
It's so awesome. And, and you know, I, the I other thing it. as well, John, that that um, we we mustn't under uh, underplay is mm-hmm. how Stadia has made it so much easier for ordinary people to stream games and actually try out how they feel comfortable about mm-hmm. being a game streamer. Is that you know, everybody's? Yep. Oh, I've always fancied doing that. Wouldn't it be great? And you can literally do it with a click of a button with Stadia. Yeah. Try it out yeah. for yourself. How does it feel? You know, the whole talking over the mic and playing the game. Is it for you? Is it not for you? And that's right. that's brand new. I, I, you know, I mean, the, the ability to do that. So yeah. it, it has opened horizons for so many people. Yeah, that's awesome. What about you, Brandon? What, what do you like most uh, <clears throat> about Stadia? Or maybe something that you would like to see maybe game-wise? Is there a certain type of game that you would like to see come to Stadia you know, starting year three now, or, you know, what do you think? Oh, no, we can't hear you again. No. Nope. <laughs> Those darn it said, eh? you got to put, you got to put another 50 cent in the meter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for That's sure. That's amazing. There you go. These kinds of stories. You know, yeah. It's people just... are touched uh, at such a level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And and Improv Joe makes a a great point there about uh, getting through COVID when we're all stuck at home and, you know, told not to go out only on necessity. It was just another a great way to be able to talk with others uh, and again, Mm -hmm. make friends and and things like that. And even when uh, it's been a lot less strict with COVID, we're still all here together. We're, st- you know, like we've built something and, and mm-hmm. we're keeping it stable. So it, it's very cool to see that we're not just yeah. leave, going away, even if huh? it's getting better. Yeah. So here we go. Also, so here we go. WJR, watching the tech grow feature by feature is also pretty engaging. Watching that win confidence and more players inspires one to be more vocal on support. The bleeding edge of cloud gaming. Yeah. yeah so, well said. Well you know, said. yeah, yeah. It, and, and like you said, it'll take, you know, maybe those, there's certain types of people who are shy and, and, you know, aren't really good in, in social settings. This mm-hmm. allows you to, you know, this community allows you to come out and talk with them and, and uh, you know, even build self confidence as well. And it's great. Yeah. It's so mm-hmm. awesome to yeah. see. Yeah. I totally agree. Yep. So it Brendan, like I, don't... I think uh, now you're frozen into place. Oh, oh he man. might have been frozen here. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Wow. Well, okay. Well, while we're doing that here, so See, Bra- Brandon's a classic case in that. In yeah. case in that point, John, because yep. you know he's he's um, always wanted to get into game streaming, and Stadia mm-hmm. gave that opportunity, and he's met yep. people like me and Ray and yourself, um, yep. and and others, and it's given it's encouraged him with confidence to go out and do his own thing and make his own channel. Yeah, Uh, exactly. And that's that's just lovely to see. Yeah. And again, like you said, so easy. You don't have to. Sure, you can, but you don't have to go out and buy a a special Uh computer, uh, a, you know, Elgato. Yeah, Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you now. Yeah, this computer is not my own. That's why I like Stadia. (laughs) <laughs> I was just about to say that you know we don't have these kind of technical difficulties with Stadia, so that's what's nice about it. Well, yeah. my screen went black. Uh, uh, okay, well, that's uh, okay. Yeah, you could just tell us. We can um, hear you. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, and that's all that that matters here. Um, you know, is is there anything else? Like, is there something or things that you would like to see maybe in year three happen? I know some people mentioning, I saw them on Twitter saying, you know, they would like the ability to be able to buy a year's subscription of Stadia Pro at a reduced price, maybe a little bit of savings or being able to gift games. Is there yeah. any things like that that you see that you would, you know, be interested in maybe Stadia implementing? Well, they don't have to go to Gen two yet. They, they, it's, it's stylish. It's great. It works. If they yep. can give you like an hour and a half, not to buy the game, like sixty bucks or fifty, you just mm-hmm. play it and not buy it right away, and they go, "Oh, your time's okay. lying," and you give you, um, more chance to play the game if you like it. Buy it. Or you get oh, okay. a discount with a game, and um, the uh, broadcasting feature um, put a camera in it and the chat room, and mm-hmm. um, make uh, like 
a giveaways like you guys are doing mm-hmm. Google money and then you can give them uh, money. I love yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. And then that um, would be great. Yeah. Like, and more the community, you know, talk to you guys. You guys are great and stay your source and mm-hmm. probably chance of games. And Rock, mm-hmm. you know, he's big. Yeah. Big influence. Of <laughs> um, you got to Rock. That's right. Yeah. Always, give, always the bride. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not the groom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh, funny. gosh. Um, I want everybody yeah. to be like, I want them to give us uh, something like a giveaway, like a big thing, like another big event, like a mm-hmm. state of connect again. Like I missed that. Uh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's kind of why when uh, Ninja Guy X and I, we were coming up with a name for a show. We we're like, what are, what is something that the community always, you know, is looking for and talking about and got excited? Well, it was the St- the Stadia Connects, right? So we we thought, well, okay, we're not going to use the name Stadia. We'll come up with Stadium, right? Which is the you know the plural of that. So Stadium Connect, and we give it the Canadian flair North, right? So so that's how we came up with the name here, Stadium Connect North. And uh, I think like when when we we said that like we were talking back back and forth, it was like we came up with a couple of names. But I think we like we both said, "Bam! This is this is the one." Like we agreed upon that right away, and I think it's like super fitting, and I, I totally love it. But yeah, I agree. I would love to see um, in the direct streaming give you that option to be able to overlay, uh, you know, your webcam if you want to add your video uh, to direct streaming. That would be a great idea and maybe that's one of the features that uh, they're working on we've seen in the last week or so that uh, now direct streaming there's some games 1440p some games 4k so that's been upped from the 1080p so they're definitely working behind the scenes and i do love that uh the the increased uh presence in the community like we've had those community play days today grace had was streaming for what three hours playing some stadia games with the community so i i I can see those those general improvements coming and it's just so awesome and it's be able being them allowing you know them to interact with us is 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 great and i'm just so happy to see that do you know it'd be good as well if if they allowed you to use the camera on your phone as, oh, yeah. as the overlay because yeah. we, obviously they've they, you can now use the phone to connect a controller to mm-hmm. stadia so it's only yeah. a hop skip and a jump to actually say yeah maybe we can connect the phone and you yeah. can use that as your camera so that everything is great. inexpensive so you don't even have yeah. to go out and buy a webcam or a dedicated right. camera. i do too um uh, you know the what's google your idea TV? yeah the google tv mm-hmm. um Put the broadcasting feature from YouTube into that machine, and we can yeah. put cameras in there, a, a microphone, and, and build around it, or put mm-hmm. it on the you know Android TVs, and and broadcast. We can just put broadcast on our phones. We can broadcast anywhere yep. we want. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, that that would be awesome here. Wow. Well, I want to give. Uh, I know we could sit here and talk for hours on end. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't want to be rude, but we've got. We we want to try get and get out. as many people yeah, yeah. as possible. <laughs> but we definitely would love to have you both of you back on the show again sometime in the future, as time permits. I know you you're both very busy individuals. Um, but yeah, I had a great time. We'd love oh, for you to come honor. back on again. Really, yeah. really well, good. Thank no, you very much I for mean, inviting us. Rock, you, you've been so nice. Uh, you know, I've been able to come on your show several times. Uh, we had constant blog posts there, but neither here nor there. <laughs> we'll we'll figure started, that out. Dude, I'm still upset. No. It's too soon, no. John. Too yeah, soon. I know. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> but, you know, you guys are both... Uh, Awesome friends, and I'm so glad. Uh, thank oh, you guys you. again so much for coming you. on the show. Yeah, all right, thank we'll talk you. with you guys soon again. Oh, happy happy stay anniversary, guys! Happy, happy stay anniversary. anniversary! Happy anniversary, guys! All right, so let's see here. Fanfares, we got happy. All right, we've got some more people waiting nice. here. We've got uh, Nico, and we've got uh, Mill here as well. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey guys. How are you doing? Hey, good, good. Thank you so much for coming on. So, Nico, maybe you can uh, 
if uh, introduce yourself, maybe if, if people in the chat don't know who you are or, or, or what country you're from, where part of the world you're at. And, uh, you know, just talk about stadium, what you like about it and some of your favorite games and, and things you like to see coming in year three. Sure thing. Well, originally I'm from uh, Italy, but right now I'm actually living in Montreal, which I love. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful awesome. city since I moved in like five years ago by now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I just love Stadia. You know, I started playing it almost day one. I wasn't mm -hmm. really sure, you know, sometimes you have those periods in life where you don't know what your passions are anymore. And at the time I had a gaming laptop. But mm -hmm. I decided to uh, sell it to buy um, a touch screen. So, you know, no wow. uh, graphic That's card. That's a different, uh, yeah, different yeah, type yeah. of a gaming, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, no graphic card, no nothing. And I found out about Stadia and just completely blew out my mind. Because like a, a week before, I had bought Red Dead Redemption 2 on, on Steam. And I couldn't play it anymore. <sighs> So then I yeah. saw it on Stadia and I said, why not trying it there? And I have hundreds of hours now on that game. So wow, it's just that amazing. Is awesome. Yeah, it's great to hear. Well, that's it's also I never knew you were in Montreal either. That's you know, that's another thing about Stadia is like in this this last couple of years, I've met so many other Canadians. You know, every, right now everyone on here is in Canada. You know that we, you know, just new friends, and you never think, well, because you know, like the United States is is you know, there's a lot of population there, so most of the time you see people from the U.S. But there's a surprising amount of Canadians that are in the Stadia community, and that's so awesome to see, and I I love it. It's just like meeting everybody, and uh, it's so fun, for sure. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we got Mills here too. Uh, Blizzbling, how you doing? Oh, not too bad. Can't uh, the? I think your volume on your mic is down a little bit here. It's very low. Yeah. Hello, hello. Oh. There you go. That's it's better. a little better. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. It's probably my razor. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Sack. <laughs> We hear you though. It's yeah. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. Thanks for coming on the show here. I know we've played. Uh, uh, of course, you're in uh, the Four Scars Gaming Discord. We talk all the time amongst exactly. each other, and and we we've uh, we play multiplayer games, Rainbow Six Siege, and things like that. So it's great to to be able to see and talk to you here and. Uh, you know, get your thoughts on uh, Stadia, what you would like to see, some of your favorite games, and how, how you got introduced to Stadia. Um, okay, so let's start from the beginning. I got introduced to Stadia, I think, uh, when uh, everybody was uh, talking about it uh, with the Founder Edition and everything, uh, mm -hmm. when it first came up. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing is, I missed that Founder Edition, so I was like, oh, Oh, I had to wait, I have to wait, I have to wait. So one day, I think I, I received the one month free from Stadia. So I took mm -hmm. it, I played it, uh, and I played a couple of games I, uh, that, that was actually available for, to claim for free. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember which game I played first. I know I have Bomberman, but I think I played a little bit of it. And uh, no, then after Bomberman, I, I switched to Destiny because I used to play Destiny on, on PlayStation and, and uh, on the PC. So when I was mm -hmm. like playing Destiny on the Stadia version, you had all the, the downloadable content on there. So mm -hmm. that, was, that was really nice because you could play, play, play. Don't have to wait. Uh, the, the game would boot up fast and everything. So that's my, my first game that I got introduced to Stadia was Diablo wow. Destiny 2. That's awesome. So, what what is is something maybe you'd like to see here uh, in year three? Any additional features or game types, or maybe other developers to bring games to the platform? But it would be nice if there was uh, more um, Square SquareSoft. I, I'm, I'm I'm a big RPG guy. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that. I knew it. So yeah. uh, it would be nice if it would be more RPG. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe GRPG from uh, from abroad that could be brought up to this yeah. platform. Because mm -hmm. 
because it's a uh, it's missing a, it's a lot of action play triple a titles but missing a little bit of rpgs there got me got me thinking and yes they should bring by nhl there oh, oh yeah. yeah for sure <laughs> but but, but it, if we talk about a feature that i would love to see i would but it's not stadiums for smaller developers that I would have would need to implement that to all, to all those plat uh, those gaming. It would be cross platform always with PC with whatever no matter what game you play. Like you yeah. have, we, have, we have that with Rainbow Six, but it would be nice to have it all the way to all those games that the Stadia brought up. That the developers say, okay, it's a PC game, it's a Stadia game. Yeah. We're gonna put it cross platform right away. Like a, a necessary. Uh, feature when they import it, kind of thing, right? Exactly. You, yeah, I think that makes sense. Because yeah. not a lot. Not a, not a, sorry. No, no, no. I say, yeah, it's a good idea for sure. Yeah. Because not a, not everybody has Steam. No, not everybody probably have a computer that runs Steam uh, Steam games, depending on the game that you're playing. So that would be nice. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, so, Nico, is there any any features that you would like to see? Brought in year three or? Yeah, you know, like what I mainly do on Stadia also is a uh, thing. And actually I'm streaming Far Cry 6 right now. And just the other day, what happened is that right at the end, uh, and because anyways, I was about to close the stream, but uh, basically the game crashed. So the stream just cut, you know? What I would like and love to see from Google would be an implementation of a, kind of a different way to uh, start a stream. So instead of starting it after you boot the game, it would be cool to have it directly from the Stadia the platform, you know? Yeah. Yeah, nice. that, that's, a, that's a great point. Uh, yeah, for sure. That would be awesome because I know like when I start my streams, as probably most people do here, we like to just, you know, get uh, talking and get things set up and then start the game and, and go into it from there. So yeah, that's awesome. I haven't exactly, heard anybody yeah. mention that. That's great. Wow. Awesome. All right. Well, again, we're, uh, we'd love to, to keep everybody on here for longer, mm -hmm. but we're trying to, you know, uh, get more people in here. So thank you so much yeah. guys for uh, stopping yeah. by and all your support. Uh, we really do appreciate it. And a happy Stadia anniversary yeah. to both of you. Happy Check out Nico and uh, Salut Blissbing. Salut. <laughs> Salut. À la prochaine. À la prochaine. <laughs> happy Stadia anniversary. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see here. Um, before we bring on, actually, let, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to do a giveaway here before we bring okay. on a, a special guest here. Um, right. So. We are going to be giving away here Paw Patrol the movie, The Adventure or Adventure City Calls. So if you haven't already entered into that raffle, now's your chance. Exclamation mark raffle. And, uh, and just to uh, let you know, uh, Roberto, uh, you've put exclamation point raffle in my channel. But you, mm -hmm. to enter into a raffle, you need to go on John's Cars. Uh, channel and put exclamation raffle on on his channel because my channel is just linked with his current restream just so you know yeah yeah so we've got the bot here so let's let's for those that are watching on ninja guy access channel i'm gonna put the link here you can join over here oh. on that's that's a direct link to the stream here so that you can um Get on the channel here and get on to the bot, and uh, we're going to see here. Wow, we've got quite a few entries already. So the way that we're going to do this, we've got the three games. Um, we're going to randomly choose a winner here. The bot will choose exclamation mark raffle to enter. And um, if you win, we ask that you don't enter into future raffles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pick a winner from here, and then we're going to clear the queue for the next one. So that, you know, if you want to enter in for Outcasters with DLC, um, you'll have to enter again into the raffle here. So we'll make sure um, and see, give everyone a chance here to... Uh, Enter into the raffle. Uh, who was it again, Ninja Guy X, that was on your channel? Uh, uh, there was a Ro Ro Roberto Fenty. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Someone else uh, went on your channel and did the exclamation raffle. So it, that's okay. good. 
but I did not notice Roberto going in your channel yet. But uh, okay. So, yeah. so maybe do you, do you want to talk about our next guest that's coming on here, and uh, we can uh, then maybe uh, get sure. him on here, and that way gives Roberto All and right. others a a chance. <clears throat> All right, are you guys ready? Okay. In the far, far plains, when it's daylight and the eagles are flying, there's no one else that gives us the energy like the cowboy. Yeah, you know what? That was pretty. Good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. we lost cowboy. We lost the cowboy. cowboy has, he's yeah. left the building. Yeah. He's kind of like uh -huh. Elvis, right? He's that popular. All the girls are just falling and fainting whenever they see the cowboy, and uh... <laughs> or maybe he's fainting and he uh, needs uh, her. His, you gotta have a gun show, cause I'm a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, guys, I've been waiting and clamoring to get on this show. I don't know how I missed it, but the other day I realized, like, wait, you guys got a show together? Like, how did this pass me? So I literally sat back and listened to the first episode, jumped straight into the next episode. John, I know I was killing you with all my comments, but yeah. I told you no, that's guys, good. We we love the comments. We love them. Keep them coming, man. Well, I, I just, I'm sorry, but I told Ninja guys to so listen, when I listen to stuff back, I want to feel like I'm still part of the conversation. So I come as I listen, I, Oh, I comment on everything as if I'm, I was a part of it live, but it does yeah, help the algorithm awesome. as well though. Yeah, yeah, um, we love that. We love that. That was so awesome to see. I mean, yeah, our first two shows were two hours, and you you yeah, just man. like sat there and listened to it, yeah, and it was it was amazing to see your comments. And we're so glad. I know that when I got into content creation earlier this year, you had me on your show, and it was yeah. fantastic. You opened your arms, and you know why? You said, you know what? Come on here, let's chat, and uh, it was so awesome. So. We thought we'd, uh, you know, return the 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 love for sure. I appreciate it. And yeah. uh, you're welcome on any time for sure. So before, though, that we get the Cowboys yep. take on Stadia, we're going to choose a winner here real quick. Because I saw Roberto was able to enter into the raffle. Oh, here. man. So that's right. So here we go. We're going to bring up the bot here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Or close in the giveaway. Do the pop up our boogie. Did a pop up boogie. <laughs> pop up boogie. And our first winner, <laughs> Paw Patrol, the movie Adventure City Calls, is. Let's see. Where's our winner here? We're waiting for. And, no, it's there. Yeah, there Amine oh. Achimi. Oh, yep. oh, okay. Sorry. That was. Uh, it didn't show up on my end there for oh. some reason. Really? So there it's... it is. So yeah, so that's why I clicked it again. So Amine Hamachimi, if you're here. Yep. So um, so Amini, I'm not familiar with Amini. Congratulations. Woo! You can uh if if you if you check um in the con uh, the description of this video, there's ways to contact me. Also, um you can just leave a comment on the video itself and I'll get to you directly. You can send me an email, Twitter, Discord, what have you. So congratulations on Mini. You have won Paw Patrol. So uh, with that, while uh, Cowboy and Ninja, Ninja Guy X are talking, I'll go ahead and get the next giveaway going here. Sure. All right, well, Cowboy, uh, as you Lay might have noticed, Lay I now have, and I have so, uh, glasses. And just to let you know, I happened to got them during your show while while you were uh, while I was on your show on Wednesday, but really? I didn't get a chance. I wanted to like do an exclusive uh, of me with glasses, but it didn't work out. But anyway, we're not here to talk about my glasses. We're here to talk about your take on Stadia. It's oh, been yeah. two years, and we're wondering uh, what are the games you've been playing? What kind of tech were you, did you like? Okay. And what do you expect uh, of Stadia in the future? What would you like to have? So I've heard a lot of people mention uh, Destiny. Now, I used to be an ex-Destiny player. I played for five and a half years straight. Uh, I was so into Destiny that when part two came out, the day be the leading up to that midnight release, I went to the store and bought a 70-inch 4K TV with a PlayStation 4 Pro just so I could play Destiny in its greatest glory. I'm And I, you know me, 
my whole life is on YouTube and I vlogged it. So that is a, a legit <laughs> video I did walking in Walmart, got the guy on the camera that was selling it to me, everything. Um, so Destiny <laughs> was really important to me. Even though when Stadia came out, I was kind of not into Destiny, but because I was so into Destiny, I was like, okay, I'm going to be able to really tell how good this thing is because I was a big Destiny player. And just like Rock said, Destiny blew me away on Stadia. Um, what really did it for me, though, uh, my 2020 game of the year uh, was Doom Eternal. I played Doom. the mess out and Doom, the graphics, the speed. If you really want to test the cloud service, see how great you can run Doom. And it run Doom. So here's what's so cool about Stadia, right? Um, my wife's mom lives two hours away. So we will go visit her and we would always stay the weekend. She has no internet, okay? And she lives what we will call the stick. She lives in Allentown, PA, right? So I'm talking about, I'm only getting, I don't, no 5G, no nothing. I'm getting my 4G, barely 4G. And I would go there and just take a controller and my phone. And for the weekend, I'm playing Doom. Dude, I got so many tech videos on my channel of me just playing Stadia anywhere. So for me, I knew it worked well. Um, so one, uh, the tech wowed me. Uh, I want to mention one thing, though, you guys didn't ask me. So what got me into Stadia was when I heard that, it was going to be free upgrades. I was like, okay, so I'm a PlayStation guy. And I know at some point the PlayStation 5 is coming out, right? Because Stadia came out before the, the new consoles, right? So I was like, I could spend $500 or whatever because we didn't know how much it was going to be at the time, the new consoles. But the Stadia thing, they're promising free upgrades. So when they jump to that next level, that's just going to be done on the back end. So that wowed me. And then when I seen the tech work for myself, and then when they had the games like Doom working well, um, that got me. But to answer your question, um, Stadia uh, has given me uh, something, and John, you said it earlier. I was listening to you guys as I was driving uh, from mm -hmm. work. Um, this community, man, just like you said, I've been playing games since I was little. And, and I've been a diehard, you name it, Nintendo, Sega. I've had every console for the most part besides Panasonic 3DO and Neo Geo. Other than that, I've had like every console, right, that you could buy in the mm -hmm. United States. And um, I never in all my years, uh, and I never stopped gaming. I've always been a gamer. I never was a part of a community. I never seen something like Stadia has a living, breathing community. And we have our ups, we have our downs, but it's like alive. And it's amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, yeah, it um, definitely is. So John is, you know, has promoted a lot the, the second, uh, the the second anniversary. But uh, I'd say that uh, you are equally as promoting it. And there's uh, some, there's like an event that you've been creating today. So if you don't mind talking about that uh, right now, and I see it right there, I see the logo right there <laughs> on the, on the, at the end. So yes, so um. <laughs> Guys, it's been an awesome ride for about 10 months that, uh, um, so Spectre, he isn't as vocal, he's a quiet guy, but he came to me with an ideal, and at the time I was part of Stadia Source, so he just watched me on Stadia Source and thought I was like a head honcho or something. So he came with me this ideal, like, uh, because of Super Saturday. What if we created some type of event for the community where we're bringing new people and it will spotlight? He said two things. I want to spotlight Stadia and I want to spotlight the content creators. So at first I didn't know who he was. Like, Man, if you don't. And he's inboxed me when Stadia just had the new uh, messaging app, right? I'm like, who is this guy, right? But anyway, long story short, over talking for a couple of weeks, I said, okay, I'm interested. Uh, you know, I, I love creating things. If you go to my channel, again, King of Content, I have everything, right? So I knew a lot, uh, and I've been on YouTube for, it's like 11 years now. So if people didn't realize, I've been on, the last 11 years, my life is on YouTube. Every anniversary, every birthday, I, I vlog, right? So uh, mm -hmm. one thing people don't really use that often, which, guys, this is the key to YouTube, which nobody uses, but playlists. So all the ideals he had, I was like, so technically, uh, now you see a lot of times, and then no knock, but you see a lot of times, smaller YouTubers will be on someone else's channel, right? So I was on Stadia mm -hmm. Source, right? But I was like, how much is it helping my channel? I was like, what if there is a way to allow people to stream on their own channel, but still be affiliated with something bigger? And so uh, we put our heads together and I came up with the Stadia Bash community before we added the end, right? So we did a one week event and it mm -hmm. went for five days 
It ended on the January 1st. So we want to bring in the new year with Stadia. And it was a five-day event. It was epic, right? Um, at the time, one of the things that's hold dear in my heart is uh, we wanted to end it with a bang. But at the time, we, you know, we didn't know all the new, we knew the bigger guys, but they was kind of like, eh. So uh, got to give credit, man. Eddie Player One, he uh, was doing a family event. He said, listen, I don't know if I could be a part of it. And I asked almost everybody. And he was like, but I'll see what's up with my wife. So we was on the edge of our seat. Could we end the event with a bigger guy? And he came back and said, hey, listen, man, I could do it. And it was like amazing that our event ended with Eddie Player Run as the anchor. And then we had a podcast at the end. So anyway, it went so great. We said, okay, a month later, let's do another one. And it was bigger and better. This time we had Lloyd from the Nerf, uh, Nerf, uh, Nerf Report. We had Lloyd from, um, from, uh, Stadia during, cast. Stadia cast. I'm, think, I'm trying to think yep. of both their new names. Yeah. So Stadia cast. Yeah. Um, um, nerdness. We had, uh, yep. you name it, Clive. Everybody was on there. It was awesome because we made a name. Eddie helped mm -hmm. us get out there, right? And people's like, whoa, this thing is cool. Like the, the, um, Super Saturday was a 24 hour event and then a 36 mm -hmm. event, but this was like a week thing. So anyway, we did that and then Stadia event was a part of it. And he had ideal. What if it was like a network? That was his ideal. We said, well, tell us about this. And so we, I took his ideal and created a weekly thing. Like if you got programs, like, hey, this person stream every day, blah, blah, blah. So for me, um, this is cool because this is going back to our roots, right? So ever mm -hmm. since last January, we've never did another bash. We've only had the network. So we decided, what if on the two-year anniversary, we do a bash? This is our bread and butter, what we're good at. And so uh, I just been working hard, man, getting as many people mm -hmm. as I can. And John, you helped me out, brother, because I was mm -hmm. two spots I needed to fill. And you literally said, what about this person? What about this person? I was ah, like, all yes. right, yeah, John helped me out big time. I had That's two right. spots left. And John suggested two people. He said, listen, this person's streaming at that time. And this person's streaming at that time that you, you need available. And I said, cool. And I reached out to them. They both was more than welcome mm -hmm. to join. So thank you, John. And I made a yeah, personal yeah. post for you, but I just want to say it publicly. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. Um, and uh, so this thing has been awesome, man. I made, I set my alarm. So I woke up to see you, mm -hmm. Ninja Guy. My gosh, you yeah. The first person to kick it off. It was 6 a.m. my time. And I made sure I was up. I was bright and early to watch your stream. And then I was like, all right, I'm going back to bed. But um, yeah. yeah, I've been watching every single person stream all day. Yeah. It's been epic, mm -hmm. man. It's been epic. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, you've built yeah. uh, such a great community. Stadia Bash community is so awesome. Mm -hmm. And there's such a wide variety of different personalities on there as yeah. well. And mm -hmm. it's all about just celebrating Stadia and the community. And it's so awesome. So hats off to you for that. We really do appreciate that. And, you know. You are the cowboy. There's nobody quite like you. I can say that for sure. And yep. uh, you are the king of content and uh, fantastic. I, I love talking with you all the time. Oh, and, so you know, we like just yeah. to, to shoot the breeze and, you know, we could be straight. You got you. You shoot straight. You know, there's no yeah, man, crap just, or anything like that. You tell it like it is. Right. That's it. That's it. That's I right. just got to keep no, it real. Um, no fluff. I, you know what it is, though? I would be honest with you guys. I um I had a moment where I was kind of like the hated guy, I was the villain. But to be honest with you, um I'm a and I say this all the time. So a lot of you viewers are gonna hear this probably for the first time if they never heard me before. But I'm a big wrestling fan, right? Uh, but I'm <laughs> guys don't notice I'm only five five. I'm a short guy. I'm a little guy, yeah. right? I'll never make it in WWE. Well, look at Ray Mysterio. I think he might be one inch taller than me. Look how small he looks, right? But um, right. YouTube or content creation allow you. To live out your fantasy, right? So I always like, well, if I could be a wrestler, I love the heel versus the face. So me personally, I throw on my hat. Now, like Stone Cold Steve Austin said, you want to be yourself, just turn it up. So this is me all the time. My wife would tell you, but I just turn it up to the max. So I just want to be a straight shooter. But if people mm -hmm. get to know me, I'm not the villain they think. But listen, I'm on YouTube. Ask my wife, man. I'm on here a lot. And so I'm going to, number one, make content that I enjoy first. So I get a mm -hmm. chance to play this role, right? And uh, and I, I love it. And then, two, I make content that hopefully people will find and they will like. So for me, I, all, people say, oh, you're content creator, this and that. No, I'm an entertainer first. I have someone <laughs> here to entertain because I just got energy. This I wake up like this and I go to sleep like this. This is literally me uh, all the time. Like, I'm just high off life. I never drank Whoa. before in my life. I never smoked in my life. I'm just literally... I'm chemically imbalanced to have energy. I don't know. So, <laughs> so, 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 so can we get a woo? 
a Ric Flair woo, woo! for you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Your style and profiling, right? That's that's mm -hmm. embodies <laughs> who you are. Like I said, and we love you for that. Thank you so yeah. much. You're so awesome, Anthony. And really do appreciate you taking your time yeah. out of your busy schedule. Like you said, you're always, there's something. You've always got something going always. on. And uh, so we do appreciate that. Busy, busy. And uh, hope you have a great weekend and happy thank state you. anniversary. And thank you so much for, for uh, you guys. being a, a staple in this community. Definitely. Right, yeah. uh, it yeah. was a pleasure being on the episode. Like the, my third, I, I caught up. To just listen to the third episode, I didn't think I would be on it. So <laughs> yeah, there cool. you go. Nice. See, cool. from zero to hero, just you're like that. You're famous now. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, right. Yeah. You're famous. <laughs> Hell yeah! Right. I made All it. Right. Listen, if you if you went John Scar and Ninja Guy X, you made it. That's it. I retire. <laughs> gotcha. Yep. All right. Take oh, care, Anthony. We'll Take talk care. with you soon. Yep. Have Bye -bye. a good one, Anthony. All right. All right. So now uh, we've got even more people here. Ooh. Uh, so I want to uh, improv Joe. He was here earlier, but he's unable to, um, you know, be able to come on the show live. So he sent me a video on uh, his thoughts here on stadium, what he would like to see. So I thought, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and play this here and then we'll get, uh, we've got another guest here waiting to come on. So, he, so here we go. Improv Joe talking about Stadia and uh, Stadia Versary here, second anniversary. Joe here. Uh, I have to say my most anticipated game idea right now that's coming out is uh, Chorus developed by uh, Deep Silver Fish Labs. Um, I, you know, I got my handy dandy sanitizer. Uh, they're, they're just so good at community outreach. Um, and I'm really looking forward to playing that game. It looks so great. It looks like a space shooter of old um, with a bunch of new modern twists. And uh, looks like the gameplay is going to be outstanding. Um, my favorite game on Google Stadia right now is Resident Evil Village. Um, I think just having that available in the cloud, being able to play it on any device whenever I have a second. Um, I'm a drama teacher, as you can probably tell from my background. Um, and the thing that I uh, the thing that I really like about Google Stadia is that I can play it anywhere. the 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 response is great. The touch controls, anything, just can do a quick little game session on the train. You know, if you have data, all that good stuff. Um, and I think they really have a lot going for them. In the third year now, um, I think they got to keep their momentum going. Um, there's a lot of cloud-based technology coming out in the gaming world. Um, and I think the most important thing they can do as a consumer that likes their product um, is just keep that momentum. So yeah, that's my answer. Done. <laughs> so I love the shirt. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe's an awesome guy. He's another fellow Canadian, um, and Joe is uh, an avid gamer. He does reviews for me as well, and uh, it's just fantastic to hear his enthusiasm for the platform. And, uh, you know, he makes uh, some good points there. Just keep that momentum going and building upon it. And I think just bringing more games, a wide variety of games to the platform is going to be very key. And then we can, you know, worry about hardware upgrades uh, later on down the road. And, you know, it's just getting that content available and then we can, you know, do something, uh, you know, hardware upgrades on the server side as well. So, very what, true. yeah, so the guests keep rolling. So we've got another guest here. Go ahead and bring them on. Here we go. Nancy, how are you doing? Good, good. Yourself. Thank you for oh. inviting me on this. Oh, we are glad to have you on. So, as I've said with each of the other guests, kind of just like introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from, if you're comfortable with sharing that. And mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about Stadia. All right. So, my name is Nad614, also known as Sebastian. Um, I'm doing the podcast with uh, Rudix or Ricardo called the uh, Stadia Party Chat Podcast. Oh, uh, yes. So, every Sunday. So, we're doing that. It's a small community that watches it, but like it's growing every day. The main thing mm -hmm. we uh, cover is Destiny 2 because we're a big fan of that. That's how we 
uh, learned about each other. That's when I start like uh, meeting Rudigs and other people within the community within Stadia, which is amazing. I uh, love the game. I also play other game with him. He's uh, also a writer on Stadia Source, which is like a, a big uh, place where we mm-hmm. like to go visit uh, for like yeah. any news, anything. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty good. I'm also a Canadian, so I'm in Kingston, yeah. Ontario. Yeah. So uh, yeah. and he's in Toronto. So hopefully, uh, Ricardo oh, can they... join us later. But yeah, yeah. Um, we've been playing together since the beginning. We're both founder. Uh, we've been loving Stadia. Uh, myself, I've been playing video game for many years uh, since mm-hmm. I was a kid. Play Nintendo, play uh, PlayStation, Xbox. Mm-hmm. You name it, even PC. Can I on my PC, but it's getting too old for me to play games. Uh, so mm-hmm. I use it mainly to stream and I uh, just play on Stadia, which is amazing, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's so glad to hear. And again, like we mentioned, there is so many Canadians who are Stadia players that you wouldn't even like, it just blows my mind, like just how many Canadians there are. We're a small country of, what, 35 million, maybe close to 40 million now. So about one-tenth the size of the U.S. But there's a lot, a lot of gamers here and a lot of uh, people that love Stadia. So it's fantastic to see and hear that. And, uh, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. maybe why we don't have the uh, the discount here for the uh, premium edition of 2220. <laughs> I, I, you know what? <laughs> it's, it's all sold out, right? <laughs> it's a conspiracy, but you know what? I think that might be why. It might be because we're running out of stock around here, so they they just can't make the deal for us, you know? <laughs> yeah, I that, see, that, honestly... Uh, you know, that's what I was going to say. Honestly, I think that's that's what it is because that the Chromecast Ultra, you know, they're they're basically clearing stock and and making way for the, uh, you know, Chromecast with Google TV bundle. So I think like I don't think here in Canada, at the Google store, we've had the Chromecast Ultra in stock for quite some time. Exactly. So I, I, I yeah. So I think that, you know, they're not going to move stock from the U.S. just to give a discount here in Canada. So um, eh, no, they it try is to what sell it is. The new one, right? They try to sell yeah. the new uh, Google uh, TV Chromecast, so mm-hmm. which is like uh, working as as well as the Chromecast Ultra. So yeah, why not? But uh, hopefully yeah. we can get like some new thing within uh, like Stadia for Canada, and like uh, mm-hmm. I think like the community, the Canadian community is massive, and I see it all the time. I'm also French Canadian, so like I see mm-hmm. like some uh, Quebecois playing with me all the time, which is yes, amazing. Sir. Yeah. So like. <laughs> It's amazing, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I, I try my best at French. I, I, I admit, you know, I, I took it in school, but the last it's been oh a good 25 or 30 mm-hmm. years since I last I, I can understand a lot, but it's hard for me maybe to pronounce correctly. So uh, I love I love Quebec, Montreal. Quebec City and things like that. What about New Brunswick, man? Come on, <laughs> yeah, New Brunswick, Acadia, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, sure. so Nads, uh, yeah. let's do something interesting there. Uh, I'm yeah. going to ask you a question in French, and uh, yeah. if you don't mind answering in French, that'd be cool. Uh, because good. we we do like we do like to uh, uh, put variety in the show and show that like it's mm-hmm. very much from around the world. So, Nads, uh, une question qu'on qu'on t'a pas encore demandé, c'est juste que tu penses. Uh, qu'est-ce que tu aimerais avoir dans le futur pour Stadia? Y a-t-il un, un feature que tu aimerais avoir? Uh, un des, des features ou un des affaires que j'aimerais voir dans Stadia, um, c'est plusieurs affaires. Premièrement, on va parler de, des nouveaux blades, uh, le hardware ouais. upgrade, basically, en gros. Yeah. Et puis, uh, une chose que j'ai vue quand je, uh, je regardais Grace jouer tantôt, elle avait sa caméra pendant qu'elle jouait, puis j'ai demandé ce qu'elle utilisait pour streamer. Puis elle m'a dit qu'elle utilisait OBS. J'aimerais voir le streaming feature dans Stadia, à être capable de rajouter de, un hardware comme une caméra, de quoi de genre, comme ça, on serait capable de voir, euh, euh, de se voir, comme ça, on pourrait juste utiliser euh, Stadia Server, en gros. So I can repeat in English, because some of you might not understand. So his question was, what, what, what is one of the features I would like to see in Stadia in the future? Uh, basically, uh, I mentioned about the blade, like the upgrade of the blade. I would like to see that. It's probably going to come in the next few years, because uh, currently what they have is amazing. But uh, like the one thing I like is like when I saw a 
Grace playing earlier, uh, she had the camera on and I was like, what are you using to do that? Because I thought I, I missed like something in the last couple hours, but she's saying she's using a OBS, which is the same thing I use as use Steam Lab uh, OBS when I stream. But like, I would like to see that feature within Stadia. So now they upgraded to 4K 60 FPS for the mm -hmm. stream. I would like to add like hardware so you can add an hardware to say i want to stream my camera it, it wouldn't yeah. need that much more right because the game will be still streaming from uh, the server and you just mm -hmm. add the overlay it might be some coding needs to be done in the background but that would be an amazing feature for us uh yeah, uh, and if, yeah. I definitely I think need... that's doable yeah i yeah. think that's doable really and hopefully we'll see it come in year three here, but I, I, I totally agree with you. Uh, hardware wise, it's great to, to see uh, some upgrades, but like you said, it might come in a year or two. Honestly, that's what I think is, is when we'll see it. They'll establish that more third party support, get those games as, as, as we're seeing. And then once things are, uh, you know, got that far there, then we'll start to see some, some server upgrades. And I'm also hoping to see, uh, some more expansion into other countries here shortly. Mm -hmm. Like last year, I know at the one year anniversary at the end of uh, 2020, there was, uh, I think it was eight more countries mm -hmm. that was, were expanded in. Uh, I know original penguin Adam on Twitter has, has been tracking as in the scene that in Brazil over the last couple of months, mm -hmm. Stadia games have been getting rated there. So that's, you know, Very a natural, mm -hmm. yeah, for, for sure. And that would just open up the market tremendously uh india as well mm -hmm. love to see over uh, japan uh you know things like that again brazil mexico all that good stuff yeah i see a lot yeah. of twitter like from uh, brazil asking for it i know they someone asked about it today i saw like uh, yeah uh, oh, to yeah. the stadium saying thing like that saying yeah. hey like second year anniversary is, is coming to the brazil so i guess like yeah. the market is there for stadia to expand oh, for sure. uh like yeah. you know it's only two years old but like uh you know this this uh trend the cloud gaming trend is going to evolve keep evolving um you mentioned like what's are the feature i i got plenty of feature in my mind like the stadia can do vr i know there's like a portion mm. of google is working on vr but included with mm -hmm. vr cloud like within the stadia like that would be an amazing thing it's going to be doable to do there's like already some uh company working on that so i can mm -hmm. i believe that uh, that's going to come uh, UI change or anything like, you know, a compatibility of features. So if you have a Google uh, Chrome uh, browser playing on Stadia on there, I would like to see the same feature on like my Chromecast or my phone. Because like mm -hmm. that's one thing I noticed is that it's not like uh, all the same. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, pretty amazing though. Like what yeah. they came came from and where they're going towards. Yeah, it, it's just it blows my mind to just to think that, you know, we're sitting here in our homes playing games here and, and the, the technology behind it and the accuracy and, and the speed and the response time to be able to play those games. You know, you see <clears throat> people like, oh, well, lag and, and, and things like that. Those are the people, obviously, that haven't played it or tried mm -hmm. Stadia. Yeah. I mean. Sure, there are in some instances where some people's home networks just don't work, and that's mm -hmm. fine. But I would say the majority, like 95% of what people have now in their homes, uh, they could play Stadia fine. And it's just Good opening enough. up oh, yeah, opening up uh, your mind to something that's different, um, you know, and I really do think I've said it several times is like, I think there's that fear of people it's like they're, they're going to be taking away, you know, our physical media. We saw that with digital games, right? There was a big uproar. And when Steam first came out on for, for, you know, PC and it's like, there's no more physical discs and it's all digital there. People hated it. But now like digital's the norm 
on PC and it's now widely accepted on uh, other platforms and consoles. So the cloud gaming, it's, it's slowly and surely making its way. And like, uh, you know, Bill and Lloyd said on Stadia cast, it's going to be a slow burn. Mm -hmm. It's, you're not going to expect them to be the next Xbox, the next PlayStation or the next Nintendo. You look at Xbox, they're just celebrating their 20th year anniversary. Now they didn't start out with bam, you know, like everything they had to work their way up. There was Mm -hmm. that, uh, Hey, Oh, you know, a PC coming into a console space and, Oh, we're going to have to worry about updates now and things like that. Well, guess what? That's the norm now, really. What's so it's just going to take. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just going to take time for people to slowly accept it. And, uh, you know, I think the technology is great. And I think that's where we're headed to in the future. Mm hmm. Well, if sure. you see uh, playing Destiny 2 a lot uh, now, uh, with this season, it came uh, crossplay, right? And I've been playing a lot of people on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. Every time mm-hmm. they see that scribbly from Stadia, they're like, what's that? It, it, like, there's still a lot of people unknow about it. And then when I mentioned yeah. Stadia, some people were like, I thought that was dead. I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay. It's never going to die. It's Google. They have the money to keep it going as long as they want, right? Yeah, so, for sure. Um, it's just funny because to see people like, you know, questioning about it and i mentioned to them like yeah it's working perfectly and then i do something like a raid with them and then the mm-hmm. people on pc they're getting the crash or they crashing to desktop and i was mm-hmm. like you know when they mentioned like oh is it laggy i'm like no like you guys yeah. have more issue on pc than i have on stadia so yeah like exactly. you know um yeah. i don't have to worry about like oh i need to restart my computer i need to update this uh, software or my hardware my drivers or anything like that mm-hmm. that's why i found it's like very interesting uh yeah. like xbox or console in general like the issue we're having is that the hardware become outdated after a couple of years right Mm-hmm. And then we don't, we're not going to have this issue here. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's not the best performance you can have on a new PC with a 3080 uh, RTX, uh, you know, uh, graphic card and, you know, the new, the new thing. Uh, it's mm-hmm. not going to be that powerful, but it's going to be working for long term. Because like your powerful PC in a couple of years is going to be absolute. You're going to have to spend more money mm-hmm. to upgrade it. So. They, they, the cloud gaming is going to solve all that issue, I think, over over the time. And I, like you mentioned, like people are still scared, the latency, the, the lagging. Uh, I didn't see that since the beginning. And it's true that I think in Canada, we have very good internet. I've played mm-hmm. with people are, yeah. around the world. Like in the state, there's some states where like the internet is not that great yet. I think Google tried to solve that with Google Fiber for a long time. Now they're going yeah. wirelessly. Hopefully the state's going to get a better like situation in terms of internet. While Canada, I think we're in a pretty good place. Like, you know, I use Fiber. I got, uh, mm-hmm. I think it's 15 milliseconds every time I play on Stadia. Like that's my latency. I don't see any lagging. So it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And I think it's great too. Like we see Rainbow Six Siege came to Stadia at the end of June here. And uh, even like a lot of pro esports players were, were talking about that and the fact that, you know, no, you can't, you know, do cheating on it as well. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's, that's another awesome feature. And uh, the community has just like embraced Rainbow Six Siege. There's <laughs> always somebody streaming it. And I love that, you know, even if the game is five or six years old, they're still making content for it, events and new characters and new seasons. So it's fresh and they're, and they're keeping that community alive. And that's mm-hmm. so awesome for Ubisoft. Yeah, yeah it's, you're talking about Ubisoft and we're talking about the uh, Destiny and that's that's what's fun about it. There's some companies out there that support Stadia so much, like as much as the consoles. And yeah, so Bungie is, is a big one because when they they announced the new uh, the new DLC with the with the Witch Queen, like they they mm-hmm. weren't scared. They just put the Stadia logo on there. They've put mm-hmm. the pre order of the collector's edition with the Stadia, uh, not the Stadia, but with Stadia. And mm-hmm. uh, they were super su- supportive about it. And, you know, the cross-platform, they, they just keep going on it. And, and then with Ubisoft, they have such a good connection with uh, Stadia. And 
what what's funny is that the uh, the uh, the other company that I can think of that supports them so much is it's pretty new and it's outright games man like mm -hmm. they've been mm -hmm. bringing their games and and the quality is there and they're they're really supportive about bringing them and uh that's what I want to see I want to see more companies be like that yeah. be treating uh Stadia uh, as a first pla platform just like the uh, as equally as the other consoles mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we touched it on on touched on this upon it last episode too. Indie games as well. There's a fantastic amount of indie games that are on Stadia, uh, like Grime, Young Souls, just to name a few. Right, are just amazing experiences. And I think like I've seen a lot of people say like they haven't really played indie games until they started playing on Stadia and it's opened up many people's eyes to see that you know these are great quality games too and very enjoyable they don't all don't have to be the AAA high budget titles in order to be a great and amazing game and a lot of there's a lot of Canadian indie developers too Toronto Montreal uh out out west as as well there's there's Quite a few. And also as far as like with Stadia too, there's a lot of Canadian roots in Stadia in Kitchener Waterloo here. They developed the software for the controller. Uh, there's the uh, Google Canada headquarters here in Toronto and all throughout the country as well. So there's a lot of uh, Canadian roots in Stadia as well. So it's it's really awesome to see uh, our country uh, be a part of this and help contribute. Mm -hmm. And in regard in regards to indie game, like Stadia has been supporting it so much, which is amazing. Uh, like yes. if you look at them, like they provide all the package, and they, I'm pretty sure I want to say or I can speculate that they probably provide a person working directly from Stadia to work with that person. Mm -hmm. uh, look at the Falconer; it was created by mm -hmm. one person. Or yeah. look at the was it Wavetail just uh, came out? It's like it's mm -hmm. an indie game amazing yep. game it's probably it short is. but just the start the beginning of an ip that like you know that can evolve into a bigger company right yeah so exactly. there's so many good game grimes was an amazing game like if you talk with my partner uh, R ricardo he played mm -hmm. throughout the game he he loved it he loved it yeah, and it's that just is... so many good game that you can see on stata coming out it, like too many people are stuck into the big IP game, the triple triple yep. A game, and they're like, "Oh, I don't want to venture into those games." The yep. one of the latest game I've played, I got hook is um, I was it the winemaker simulator, hundred days. Yes, yes, it, yeah. It's so ridiculous. You look at it, it's like, yeah, but like you start playing it, it's like you get hooked, and it's like this yeah. is fun. <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah, I just I don't know. I like wine too. It makes me want mm -hmm. to drink wine, but like, yeah, no, it was fun. I uh, really like yeah. playing it. So, and that, that brings up another great point Stadia Pro. Like you say, like those games, they come to Stadia Pro, and we know that they've currently revised the, uh, the way that that works for developers. So, there's more incentive to get more money for that. And uh, the 100 Days Winemaker, like you said, that's not a game that you would normally try. It's part of Stadia Pro. Mm -hmm. You download it. And it's it's that um, it reminds me, it's like those management type sim games. It it It's like uh, way back when, like Populous, where I don't know if you ever played that by Electronic Arts Populous, where you were like uh, a god of, uh, of this oh, yeah. a certain land. And like you've got these village and people and like it's all that management of it. And. And like I said, like the 100 Days Wine Simulator, it's even got uh, a story mode. So mm -hmm. you can play the story mode too to ease you into it. And then you get into making the wine, managing, you know, the land, the grapes, your tractors, your buildings, all that stuff. There's another game coming up next week, Farming Simulator 22, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, you would yeah. think like, I remember when I first heard about Farming Simulator a couple of years ago, I'm like, who would want to play like a game where you're farming? But it's it's they're strangely addicting. I mean, you do have to have a certain taste for it, but that's one of the things. Like, it's like there's such a wide variety of different games or something for everybody. And you mentioned Grime, and Grime's a Metroidvania type game. I think uh, Grime is every bit as good as Metroid Dread, which just came out on Nintendo Switch not too nice. long ago, and it is my favorite Switch game of the year so far. Grime is every bit as good as Metroid Dread. And I think there's a real future in 
uh, that franchise there. Mm-hmm. And it's awesome that Grime launched as a Stadia Pro game because, you know, people are seeing this might be a game that people aren't going to necessarily say, oh, I, I want to buy it right away. But they have the Stadia Pro subscription. It's what? $10, $12, I forget, in Canada here. It's mm-hmm. a couple more dollars than the U.S. And, uh, you know, you could try all these different games out and you get hooked on it. And I love that about Stadia. Yeah, because right now, like, uh, for 10 uh, yeah, like you said, it's about 12 bucks a month Canadian. But, like, look at how many games we have since the beginning. I think... Uh, I, I I don't have time to play all the games now. I know it's just know. like it's just crazy. And Destiny Two takes a lot of my time for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. But like um, every time I see a new game, like every month now we up to five game every month pretty much, mm-hmm. and it's just crazy. They don't stop. I like I no. can't wait to see what's coming for December, January, n- like next yeah. year. I know yeah. like in uh, in February there's a lot of game that's gonna come out. Uh, in the market because everything got delayed right but uh, mm-hmm. it's it's just crazy how much uh game is coming out on stadia for pro uh i try to remember how many game we have like uh, close to 100 uh, now 100 there's over 100 since yeah since launch i believe and shout out to in lead uh in <laughs> the chat here for a stadia pro game monitor he could correct me if i'm wrong i think there's a hun- there's been 112 games oh, wow. since launch for stadia pro and if you remember before stadia launched or when they launched they said stadia pro for the subscription you'll get the 4k up to 60 frames a second streaming and you'll get one maybe two games a month Mm-hmm. Well, I think by like the second or third month, they already like broke that rule and started including two, three, four. Mm-hmm. You know, every month we don't get five games, but I think it's it's a great value. I'm happy to pay. It's a nominal fee. And uh, again, it lets me experience games or try games I might not normally have thought that I'd want to try. Mm-hmm. And the value is great right now because... Uh, you if you're new to Stadia and you go in right now, you have 40 games that you can claim, yep. which is the yep. highest they've ever had since the beginning. Yep. And some amazing yeah. game too. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Control might be an old game, but what a beautiful game it is. Like, it is. Uh, there's like so many games you can claim right now, even though if you start today. And mm-hmm. like, you have the chance to like try it too. Like, I think uh, all of us like put on our stream, like the, the code to like try it for two mm-hmm. months. I think it's a two months free, but like everybody can try it and see it for themselves, right? Uh, yeah. Every time I play uh, with PC player and other player, I was like, oh, here, try it. I know I like, offered a bunch of people to try it. And at the end mm-hmm. of the day, I don't pay uh, my monthly fee because there's so many people oh, come and try it, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good for that. Uh, like, But like, you know, I think it's the marketing side of thing that Stadia is trying to push is that, mm-hmm. you know, the... Um, what's the word for it like the voice to voice like you know you talk to someone about it and mm-hmm. they like discover it and that's like yeah one of the, the word of, word, word of mouth yeah word, word of, of mouth, mouth. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. so yeah where like a lot of the other businesses there it's like marketing on tv like to tell you mm-hmm. the truth i don't watch tv that much anymore i don't mm-hmm. even need like now with netflix disney plus and stuff like that and you, you have youtube like you know you add the ads there and stuff like yep. that uh, like that's their marketing business uh, their yes. way um and you know they release another marketing video on youtube uh, i think it's today about mm-hmm. just click and play yeah they need to do mm-hmm. more of that explain like how the system work i know they did it at the beginning to they mm-hmm. identify this is how like it works but still people think they have to pay to play a game there's right. still some free game like Bobberman is free mm-hmm. uh I don't know the other one, but yeah, there's a couple of free game. I think there's four of them. Creator, yeah. Destiny, uh, Bomberman, and uh, these are the only one I know. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and, tr- and trial, there's game trials now, right? Two thirty yeah. game it, trials, it, yeah. And then there's Itman. There's like a portion of Itman you can play for free, oh. and yeah, you can uh, demo mm-hmm. like uh, they added the. Uh, a Resident Evil Village demo on that a couple extra yes. hour you can try. I love to see that like even more because like like this you like can tell people here you go try it. You oh you want to buy it? You know sure if, what platform you want to buy it? Yeah. Try on Stadia first, see if you like it. Yeah. And also yeah. they still have that um, service where like you play a game for two hours, you have two yes. hours to return that. Yeah. So that's a good way to test a game, and they're very yep. good on that. Like I think the 
the support you get from Stadia in terms of like services or technical support, it's amazing. So yeah, when when you look at it, when you go back and you you have it down in front of you, like you have it written down in a list, you see, wow, look at all these different features. Look at all the the value. And like Ninja Guy X and I were talking about, like each week for the news. You'll hear people say, oh, well, nothing happened. Well, when you go back and look, you know, we have a whole list, which obviously we're not going to get to here tonight. We've got a whole list of news that's happened in this last week uh, of Stadia. And it's just like, I don't know. I think some people have some unrealistic expectations. And, uh, you know, it's again, like we said, it's going to take some time. And uh, I can already see in the two years, there's been such a, a vast improvement, not only in features, performance, marketing, and social uh, developer side. And we just had a Stadia dev blog like not, not too long ago, a month ago or so, that they're talking about now they make it easier for uh, mm you know, the white label stuff. So like, that's mm-hmm. something they make it easier for, for people to do betas and yeah. things like that. So I think like, and we see the job, if you look at, uh, you know, job listings, you see job listings all over the world uh, for Stadia, Germany. Uh, I don't know, just like tons of different <laughs> places all over the world. Mm-hmm. Just that's what I thought top of my head. So it's, it's expanding. It'll take some time. And I think, you know, three, four years in the future, we'll look back and be like, remember that time when people <laughs> said Stadia is going to be dead by the yeah. end of the year, right? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Know, and of, of course, that that misconception of, uh, I, know, I know like last year, or see, here's the time's flown by. Two years ago when Stadia launches, the big complaint was, oh, it's not, you know, Netflix the games. I actually have to pay for my games. Well, <laughs> You know what? Stadia, Google never, ever said at one single time that it was going to just be a subscription based service. Um, And that's just like something that somebody started and then it's carried on. And and again, you know, just like you say, people still still think that. And you also hear stuff like I got to buy my games again on Stadia. Well, I'm thinking. Mm Yeah, like if you buy a game on Nintendo Switch and you want to go play it on Xbox, do you think yeah. you're going to be able to download it for free? Like <laughs> it's 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 work, you know. Just because you buy it one place doesn't mean you get to play it on all the platforms. Now with Stadia, you buy it on Stadia, you can play it on pretty much all your devices, right? Mm-hmm. So that's good. Your phone, your tablet, your even television. your console now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, the consoles to sell. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. That's so, amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I uh, so so glad that you were able to come on here again. Uh, let happy. everybody know again uh, where where they can can find you and uh... yes, look up uh, on YouTube or any podcast service uh, Stadia Party Chat Podcasts. Uh, and me and Ricardo, the, we're doing like a weekly uh, uh, podcast. We talk about Destiny and new game on Stadia. And also we do like a little stream there and there. And tonight uh, at uh, 8 p.m., we're going to be doing a stream. So join us on Destiny. We're going to probably do a raid or anything like that. So well, you're, 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 everybody's welcome to join and have a chat with us. We can give some tricks or hints how to play the game. And yeah. That's 8 p.m. Okay. Eastern time? Yes, Eastern okay. time. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Just, yeah. just awesome. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Great. All well, thank, right. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Take care. Ha- have a great weekend and happy Stadia anniversary. Yes, you too, guys. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Take Au care. revoir. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Uh, so, okay. Yes. Yeah. So I think what we should do ne- we should do next here and a shout out Eli who just joined in to the hey. chat here. Thanks so much for joining Eli. If you'd like to come on and talk, let us know. Would love and, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could. Co- I've got the link posted in Discord. Uh, so if you'd like to come on and chat for a couple of minutes, you don't have to stay long. That would be great. But I think what we'll do uh, before we go on is let's do the, the giveaway here because we still have one more game after Outcasters to give away, right? Yeah. I can't believe it. It's already, we're what, uh, <laughs> an hour and 40 minutes in here. Yeah, so, here so here we go. Let's see. Uh, so we're going to give away Outcasters with DLC, a couple of DLC packs that are included with this. So I uh, see Eli just got in on the raffle here, exclamation mark raffle. Perfect. And I'm give it a couple of seconds here and we'll, we'll choose um, 
choose a winner here and uh, just wet my whistle here <laughs> a little bit here. Wow. It's been uh, an, an amazing show. It's just, you know, just like we thought before when we were talking uh, before we went live, uh, it's going to be a, a, a more of a community focused show today. And it's great. It's just yep. like, I've had so much fun talking to so many new people talking, um, you know, to people that we haven't seen before. And again, if anybody's out there in the chat, they would like to come on. You don't have to have video. If you want to just do audio only, that's great. We're looking for any type of uh, person. You don't like, I know that some people put that label on as, as gamer. You don't even have to be like a gamer to enjoy yeah. Stadia. So we'd like to talk to all types of people. So if you're interested and you'd like to come on and chat here tonight, just let us know. Um, send me a DM on Twitter, uh, say something in the chat and I'll get the link over to you. So with that, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to close the giveaway. I saw a couple more people join. We're going to hit close. All right. So here we go. And this time I'm only going to click on it once. So Ninja Guy, when you see the winner here, I'll let you announce it. Okay. And uh, if you if you hear your name, you just have to speak up in the chat uh, to claim your prize. Outcasters with DLC. And the winner is Ninja Guy X. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Blizz. Blizz Bling. Congratulations. Oh, Blizz. Yep. Yeah. He was on. He talked to us. Yeah. Uh, fellow Canadian. Felicitación. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. So, Blizz, you know how Excellent. to get a hold of us. Uh, uh, just send me a message on Discord or Twitter, and I'll get you uh, those uh, your game and DLC later on. So, uh, with that, I'm going. Let's see here. Let's bring this back up here. Okay. So we're we're now going to do. Oh, there's Eli is uh, waiting in the wings. Perfect timing, <laughs> Eli. So glad that uh, you could join us here. So the next game that we're going to give away is Far Cry 6. So again, we ask if you've already won a prize earlier today not to enter, just to give a fair chance for everybody here to uh, to win. So I'm going to work on the bot here. You'll see in the chat uh, when the... The raffle is open just here in a, another minute or so. And with that, I'm going to bring Eli on and I'll let uh, you uh, talk with Eli for a bit while sure. I do some work behind the scenes here. All right. Eli. Yo, what's up? How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. You can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you okay. well. Nice. Yep. So it's been it's been an eventful year. Um, we've had a, a, a Hitman event. And uh, we've been having Hitman sales, and I know that you're a big Hitman fa uh, fan, so uh, it must have been a, a good year for you, right? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I wasn't uh, really looking forward for the sales because I bought Hitman 3 when it launched. I actually pre-ordered it, but I know many people have been looking for Stadia sales for Hitman 3. Um, because every platform got sale after sale after sale. And then we kept pushing them in the community live streams when uh, IO Interactive made live streams talking about the new updates. We kept asking. I know some, I did it a lot. And, <laughs> and, and yeah, they began investigating. And now I think it's the third or fourth time Hitman is on sale right yep. now. So that's great. Your your job is to uh, convince people to buy the game now. <laughs> yeah. So so Eli, tell us a little for those that don't know. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know um, we like to call you the hitman expert, the guru. Like you're the all knowing hitman. Um, just let people know a little bit about yourself. Uh, maybe mention about the summer community championships and things like that. Yeah, uh, my name is Eli. I'm uh, turning 20 this Monday. Uh, I live in Denmark in Copenhagen. I'm in university right now. Uh, I, uh, In regards to Hitman, I have around 600 hours on Hitman here on Stadia. And wow. uh, it, it, uh, it is a great game. It's sandbox. Uh, there's lots of things to do. Community contracts, main missions, escalations, 
and I consider myself as a speedrunner. So my aim is to complete it as fast as possible. But it's not just any percent, it's Silent Assassin speedruns. I know that Triple Superstar in the chat is saying untrue, doesn't have all of <laughs> I'm not an achievement hunter, I don't care about the achievements. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, my aim is to speedrun the game. Uh, that's uh, what I enjoy about it. Uh, and recently, uh, I made a, a, a nice uh, come through uh, with the some of the guys in the Hitman community, a guy called Urban had developed a tool and he wasn't sure if it could work with Stadia. And we mm-hmm. managed to get modded contracts on Hitman on Stadia. So, oh, the, oh wow. so, is that the, oh, um, the contract that you shared the other day where you could yeah, just, okay. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is modded contracts on Stadia. Uh, I have a, I made a Google Doc which I'm updating. I can share a link in the Discord, uh, yeah, and yeah. it's amazing. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people are not enjoying stealth, but these contracts are yeah. kill every contract, so everybody is a target. And the amazing thing about Stadia is it's all running in the cloud. It doesn't take mm-hmm. any of your processing power. I know on some of the old consoles or uh, uh, low-end PCs, it's like it's very laggy. But on Stadia, mm-hmm. it's like a super smooth experience. I just shared the link to the Google Doc on uh, on general chit chat, uh, okay. so people can find it. So if uh, I know you. Uh, you guys are not uh, very stealthy or uh, like that approach you prefer to go in guns placing fire up a contract (laughs) go in kill everyone you want and when you exit the mission you'll get the best rating as sound assassin five stars the best you can get yeah i just think i i I, when when i play games like hitman i start out thinking okay i'm gonna go in i'm gonna be sneaky and stealthy but then i think what happens is i get so impatient and so anxious i'm just like you know what screw this and go guns blazing and of course we all know how that ends up i go down in a blaze of glory with uh, all the crossfire so i really think like you know i really do uh admire admire you for uh you know it's just the the expertise and things that you have on gaming it's so awesome and again this is something like our our paths crossed um i think at the summer community championships really is when we started to to talk and become you know more like more friend like before we had here or there chatted but uh with the summer community championship and of course you know we had that whole week of hitman um you're like you were like the go-to person here and you even helped you participated and you also helped commentate you also Mm -hmm. helped with the scoring on that as well so that was uh, awesome i know jack uh reached out to me uh, because he had uh, some confusion about some runs and he had Mm -hmm. me verify them and I, i of course was completely honest uh uh, oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, also, uh, one of my runs, I, I, w- b- because there was all of these server disconnection issues. Uh, oh my gosh! You guys yeah. can remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I uh, went in. I got uh, first place. It would have been, but then I rewatched it and I saw a hey, uh, there was an unconscious witness. I don't know how it happened, and I was very oh. straightforward with that. No, that means it wasn't the perfect score. And therefore, the run is invalidated. Yeah, that 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 was awesome. And I remember too, because I know uh, again, summer community championship. One of the games, and you you competed in it too, Kaze and the Wild Mask. And that's not usually a type of game that you would play, but oh, it was yeah. so awesome to see, like in your stream, your run from when you started to when you finished, like the amount of progress you made yeah. was just awesome. Like, I mean, it was just like, it was a totally different, uh, like your skill was like way better than it was when you first started. And that's awesome. That was just like, I think in a matter of like what, 50, 60, 50, 60 minutes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And again, like we said, it's, it wasn't a game that you, that you, you usually play or that type of game. And just to see how versatile, uh, you were on it was awesome, and that's you know a real appreciation for that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I also think the thing about Kaze that made me like play it and enjoy it is 
it was uh, it had a speedrun effect mm -hmm. and uh, i like speedrunning so that's why i <laughs> found it uh, relatively uh, easy or uh, yeah. interesting yeah. I think the uh, uh, the Hitman community is like rating our chat there. We got Triple Superstar. We got SSR07. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we might be seeing Soldier Cube there pretty soon if, uh, <laughs> if this nah. continues. <laughs> no, uh, S Soldier, he's uh, mostly active in the real Hitman community. Ah. Uh, in the uh, Fro T7 speedrun community. Uh, that's also the server I'm most active in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's like a great uh, server for all things Hitman. I know mm -hmm. it says speedrunning in the name, but uh, mm -hmm. we uh, accept all kinds of people and personalities. And I actually try to recruit more Stadia people. I find mm -hmm. people on the leaderboards, add them as friends, begin to chat with them in Stadia DMs, and then send them invites, and then they join <laughs> in and find it fun. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. That's amazing. Wow. So, uh, Eli, as term of, of uh, future uh, for Stadia, is there like a, uh, a future you'd like to have? Or is there something in the Hitman uh, series that you'd like to see in the future for Stadia? Uh, I mean, are we talking games or features? It doesn't matter. Uh, I think uh, either, either just Hitman or either uh, Stadia. It'd be great to know. Uh, I mean, uh, a game I'm looking forward to, which I hope is coming to Stadia, is a Project 007. That's the code name for it uh, right now. Oh, it's, okay. it's going to be the biggest release IO Interactive has ever made. And they're the guys behind the, the Hitman series. They have been doing mm. the Hitman game for 21 years. Mm -hmm. So I have high expectations for that game. And as we can see on their support on mm -hmm. uh, Stadia so far, it looks promising. So I'm hopeful that it will uh, make its way to Stadia. Yeah, maybe you so can put that, a little bu bug in their ear and let them know, you know, yeah. there's a, <laughs> a want for it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know this. Uh, they have been like uh, positively surprised by how well Hitman, uh, uh, both uh, Hitman 2 and uh, mm -hmm. Hitman 3 when it launched, how well they have been received by mm -hmm. the community. Yeah, so that's... It's, it's a possibility. There's a chance. There's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> there definitely is a chance. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Eli. I know it must be early Saturday morning for you. It's probably what? Is it one or two o'clock in the morning there? No, it's actually 20 past oh. midnight. It's oh okay, late. okay. Yeah. So you, you you're six hours ahead ahead of me, and what five yeah. hours ahead of Ninja Guy, right? So something like that. So I guess not too bad for a Friday night, right? Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know sometimes you come into the Discord and you're talking, and it's really early in the morning there. You're just getting ready to go to bed, and uh, meanwhile here it's. Uh, no. Or sometimes yeah. early in the early in the morning for me when I wake up and yeah and then you guys are about to hit to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah it, it, it's great talking with you, Eli. Like I said, uh, it's again just another friend that we've made on the Stadia community, and uh, you're like you know on a totally different continent than us. We're oceans apart here, but yet here we are talking, sharing our love uh, for games, for Stadia and celebrating the second anniversary. It's just, it's just awesome. And again, just something that I, I totally and really love about this community. Yeah. I mean, it, it's awesome, especially the uh, summer community championship. It was really mm -hmm. nice to meet uh, new people. And yes. it was uh a great uh, experience. I'm thankful for Jack for giving us all this opportunity to connect with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm I'm happy that I found out about Stadia because it was I think I had heard about it before at a Christmas mm -hmm. dinner, and mm -hmm. uh, then in I think it was in April 2020 mm -hmm. uh, during lockdown, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was uh, uh, revealed. And mm -hmm. it said, oh, uh, coming to this, 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 and this. 
and also Stadia. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, hey, low cost, why not uh, get it on there? And I saw yeah. Odyssey was on there, and mm -hmm. I thought, hey, let me get it and play it on Stadia. And yeah, ever since then, I have been grateful for Stadia. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck in your schooling as well. I know, again, on the Discord, we were talking about, uh, you're talking about a, a course and assignment, and, mm -hmm. and we're even there helping, you know, proofreading and, and helping yeah. out. And so it's great. So it's not just games. It's like everyday life. So yeah, exactly. So awesome. And and she's actually here in the chat, uh, Lady Z or Zarina K. She mm -hmm. helped me proofread my assignment before I handed it in. That's the <laughs> See, great thing go. about the community. I'm really yeah. grateful for that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So awesome. Well, thank you again, Eli. Uh, we really do appreciate you taking your time here and uh, talking with us. And uh, happy anniversary And have yeah, a have a have a well. great. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Have a good one, Eli. Awesome. All right. Mm -hmm. Take care, Eli. Nice Bye. Wow. Hey. We've we've just had guest after guest after guest. Is this is awesome. awesome. Like, it, yeah, it, it's it's amazing. It was almost two hours straight here of of just sharing uh, stories and meeting new people or or talking to the people that we've you know face to face that we have uh you know before online but now we get face to face here so it's great and uh it, it's so awesome here again the community is is the best and i just love like how there's everyone is just helpful to each other and kind and sharing and you know like we've mentioned before there are those off times and moments where people disagree or things like that but for the most part, everything is great, and it's awesome to be able to 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 share this yeah, with everybody. There, it, everybody that came today, it, you know, it, it, I had an excitement in me because I know all of these people, and I know every, like little things about them, and, and it's just excited. It's just fun to learn about them. I've seen some faces that I have like. I, I knew like Blizz Bling. I've never seen as uh, his mm -hmm. face before, so it was very cool oh. to see him there. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was great. Uh, See so, Daniel here. Daniel saying that he's was just able to join now and. Awesome show. Well, let's bring it up here so we can see it on the screen here. We do have the ability. Awesome show. Sorry, I didn't catch the others before. Um, yeah, that's fine. But you know what? Um, we're we're going to start to wind down here. Um, you know, we could go on for hours and <laughs> hours and hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you know, it's something that we totally, totally love here. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I completely lost my train of thought. I'm yeah. looking at the, at the chat. The chat yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it, today, today was an excellent day. I love it. I love that we do special things like that. Um, all the news that we ha will, we have will be showing you guys uh, next week. Instead, we'll probably trim out you know the the, the little things that doesn't matter as much. But uh, we'll be keeping in mind the big news and we'll be showing mm -hmm. them uh, next week because there's some stuff that I really want to talk about. Especially, there's been some community stuff happening and, and I want to I want to talk about it for sure. So uh, we'll we'll keep that for next week. Okay, awesome. Well, I just got. In a, and um, I don't think I'm allowed to to mention this. Uh, not can't give you any specifics now, but mm. uh, I think there's going to be and it's not going to be an announcement from um, Stadia themselves, but from the community. There's somebody in the community that plans on making an announcement tonight. I'm just looking uh here now at, at, at a chat i'm gonna see if that person would like to come on and okay. make an official announcement here you know what? Uh, i don't know i don't know what john's talking about like i thought we've heard everything from the community and from uh google itself so kind of curious there hey yeah, i see i see will see. in the in the chat hi will uh yeah um, Oh, this is awesome. So I'm, I'm hoping to see here. Let me send this person the uh, the link to come on here. This would be awesome. 
Okay. See if they're, if, if they're ready to make an announcement. But, um, okay, so they have that. So I'm going to come back here to the screen here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it's been uh, such an awesome, awesome day. And, and the two years has just flown by. It's hard to believe that it's, you know, only been two years. And, uh, you know, so many great things have happened, met so many people. And uh, just seeing, talking to everyone tonight here is is awesome. So, yes, I'm hoping to see. Let me see here before we go. Yeah, yeah. the, the chat, uh, I think we're hyping the chat too there. Like, there's people super interested. Yeah, they in are. There. Okay, so, so this person's saying, I would be, but I may or may not be on a work call right now. No! Okay, so, so no. it doesn't look like we're going to get the exclusive... Uh, here on the show, but I can say, uh, just to keep a watch out on Twitter, we'll definitely, uh, you and I will both retweet it. Um, and once the word gets out, it'll, it'll start to, to spread here okay. and, uh, hold on. Let's see what he's saying. Oh, the person said that they could come on in 15 minutes. I don't know if we can stretch it out that long. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're running yeah, on fumes there. We've been yeah. we've been up and and planning stuff all day, and yeah, uh, yeah our brain is like stew right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, exactly. Uh, but we can we can maybe uh, do the raffle, the, the last yeah. raffle, and see where it goes, and uh, take it from there. Okay, so let's do that. So I just let them know, and uh, we'll do that. Okay, so. So here we are. Uh, we are going to get ready to do the raffle! Exclamation mark! Uh, raffle. I was going to say tweet, <laughs> but it's not. And and just as a reminder, if you're watching on Ninja Guy X's uh, stream on his channel, in order to enter the raffle, you have to watch the bot. Uh, it's a local bot that runs, and maybe we'll think about uh, finding a solution so it doesn't matter, regardless of whatever channel that you can enter hmm. for the giveaways. And, um, yeah, so if you exclamation mark raffle, we're giving away Far Cry 6 on Stadia. Shout out to Ubisoft Canada for supplying uh, the game on the giveaway here to help celebrate Stadia's second anniversary. I want to mention, too, here, uh, before we do the giveaway, um, so we played the video when we started here it's a, uh, today, the community-made video as a, a celebration um, for Stadia and the second anniversary. Now, Ninja Guy X, I'm going to send you a link to a tweet. Okay. And I wonder if you could maybe, if you want to bring that up on your screen and we can yeah. share that. Okay. We sent out, uh, there was about 100 plus community members that were able to help sign a card, make a video. And uh, there wasn't 100 plus for the video. There was, I think, forget how many we had for the video 20 people maybe i don't know something like that anyways so we all came together we, we tweeted out and tagged uh some stadia employees and whatnot and one of those people let's share your screen here we'll bring it up is uh right here so go ahead and click on for those that don't know he dove is the co-founder of stadia he was tagged in the tweet and he responded to the tweet here saying that uh, the Stadia community is amazing. Thanks. And the many other community members who put this together. So when people say that, that Google and Stadia aren't listening or aren't watching, they are. Trust me. There is a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. And this guy, he is just one of the many. I think we tagged like 20 plus Stadia employees. And if anybody had a chance to watch today, Grace talking about how when she watched the video and saw the card and all the outreach on Twitter and social media, it just put her in tears to see, you know, happy tears, of course, of just all the love and support from everybody. So I thought this was great. This is something a little bit of a stall here before we do the giveaway and hope and hopefully the exclusive info. Um, so here we go. So shout out Dov, co-founder of Stadia. He acknowledged uh, the the warm wishes that the community sent celebrate second Stadia anniversary. And that's pretty awesome to get a response from him. And there was many responses from all the different employees that were tagged on that. So, so great. Shout out. And it's so awesome. 
Oh, here's Andy in the chat. He, what is he saying here? Think we can get a, a stadium employee on Stadium Connect North? Oh my god! I would, I would love to. Yeah. Um, I have reached out before, but I think they just really right now, like they're really super busy. Um, we'll try. It would be awesome, but really can't guarantee everything. Anything? No. Nope. And we're also looking it. to get uh, developers uh, nope. in here. We haven't yeah. connected with anyone else. Mm -hmm. The reason why I, I haven't connected with any of them yet is because I've already got them on, on some of my channel recently, mm -hmm. and I don't really want to bug them too much. So uh, later on, I'll ask them and see if they, if they want to come in on my end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've already had on on some of your. I remember on your carrying from the cloud stream for Falconeer, you had yeah. the developer on there. You talked with him. Fantastic, fantastic guy. Yeah. Uh, early this morning. Uh, you had uh, your stream pixel junk raiders. Yeah. You had uh, who you have? You had the community manager, right? I have the community manager who is Push Dustin, and I had mm -hmm. RJ who is the technical artist. And uh, the technical artist is the person that links the art and the uh, the programming together, basically. And mm -hmm. he has very interesting things uh, to say. I'm not gonna spoil it. You guys uh, can watch it on my channel, but uh, he has some cool attention to detail in the game that, that he talked about, which was pretty interesting. And they're also uh, re-releasing a new game uh, also, yes. which is yeah. very interesting. Um, you know what? I forgot to ask them if they were going to put it on Stadia, but the thing is that they haven't announced the consoles yet. So uh, he, they know yeah. that I'm a big Stadia fan, so we'll see if they can bring it up. Yeah, because they just recently got that IP back from Sony. It was... Uh, PlayStation was that PlayStation three PlayStation four game PlayStation four four yeah yeah so they just they got that I that IP back from Sony here recently and uh, yeah, yeah definitely check out your stream I'm gonna put a link the bot <laughs> had just mentioned uh, let's see if we could bring it up here um, oh look at that I want to Yes, we want to Perfect. copy and paste though. So you could check it out here. Uh, you could search uh, Ninja Guy X on uh, YouTube or, or in the description, just... also. Yes. In the, in the, yep. the video, with my name yes. is there. Yep, exactly. Yep. You can have that and be able to see. Okay, here we go. All right. So I see SSR7 entering the raffle. We're going to we're gonna give away <laughs> Far Cry 6 on Stadia. Again, yep. shout out to Ubisoft uh, for supplying that. And I see we have a ton of people in the raffle here. Again, everybody today, thank you so much for coming out here. If you enjoyed today's stream, hit the like button. And we also have, we'll give you more details here after we pick the winner for Far Cry 6, giving away a Stadia Premier bundle, UK only. Uh, thanks to Mark Woodhall. So we'll give the details here very, very soon. Thank you so much, Danny. Super sticker. I really do appreciate that. Uh, earlier in the stream, Jack, with a super sticker as well. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. We, Yeah, it's so awesome. And, you know, again, I, I'm not trying to delay. I, I, I promise you here. When I lost my train of thought, I just remembered what I was going to talk about is that, just real quick, that uh, we had a lot of people on our first and then our second episode say, you know, John, like, what about putting like your show podcast? I want to listen to it on Apple Podcasts or, you know, Google Podcasts or all these different services. So I was like, mm -hmm. hmm, you know what? So we talked about it. Sure enough, we're on those uh, services now. Um, I'll make sure to add a link to the description of the video. I forgot to do that. And that way you can find us there as well. Um, I know uh, Joe. Uh, who we saw the video improv Joe earlier on. He listens to us on the way to work, way to uh, home from work, Anthony as well. Um, yeah. So we're not only here on YouTube, but uh, we're audio only on Apple, uh, Google, and I think there's about seven different platforms total. So uh, you'll be able to listen to us wherever, whenever you want. And again, we appreciate all your support and the likes and the love for it is just awesome. And it just, uh, every week just encourages us to keep going and uh, make great content for you. There you go. All uh, righty. If you don't mind uh, sharing my screen, I'll put a, a trailer of Far Cry at the same time, just for the oh, hype. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs>
<laughs> so there we go. So there's the trailer, Far Cry, and we are going to go to the bot. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm closing the giveaway, and here we go. All righty, the winner is, and I'll let you announce it when you can see it. The winner is R D Bato. Congratulations. I hope I didn't massacre this name, but uh, v congratulations. You are the winner. All you need to do is uh, comment in the chat and uh, you'll be the lucky winner. Yep, you'll be the lucky winner. And then you can uh, contact me either on Twitter at fourscars underscore gaming uh, on Discord, uh, fourscars gaming Discord. We just need to see RD here to speak up into the chat. Uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to grab uh, the link Discord. It should be in the description. Um, worst case, if someone claims a game and they, they can't get a hold of me, either email, Twitter, or Discord, leave a comment on the video and we can get yeah. in touch. So it doesn't look like... I, I don't see a response yet from Not RD. Yet. No. Oh. We want to kind of make it fair for for everybody here, but I don't see. Uh, we'll give them an, another another uh, couple of seconds here, and uh, okay, yep. Yeah, so you can hit. Uh, actually, I forgot because I haven't used this. I saw Eli in the in the chat here use exclamation mark Discord. Actually, if you use exclamation mark contact. It'll give you my email, Twitter, and the Discord. Oh. So that's a great way. I forgot oh. I've even added that. And we got RD Bato right there. Uh, All right. Reply. So, yeah. So, congratulations. congratulations. So, to contact me, let's, uh, let's do, there we go. Eli hitting the command contact. Ah, there you go. Twitter. Perfect. Is it coming through? Yep. Discord. So, there you are. Congratulations to all the winners. We've got uh, Amini, uh, Blizz, and RD. So thank you so much. Before we go, I'm just going to double check. Fingers crossed mm -hmm. that this person is can come on here and see. Uh, let's see here. I'm curious. I'm checking my Twitter there, like, see if. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I see who's coming, but I don't know what it is yet. I'm, I'm scrolling through. <laughs> I want Let's to know. See. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, I just saw. I. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Oh, so, he needs so to let, come. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. He needs to come. I, I've, I've I've almost said the person's name a couple of times. Oh. Let's see. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, it's good. It's uh oh. Good. He, 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 here they are. He, nice. The person of the hour. This is such a great way to close out what has been a fantastic third episode. Here we are, none other than the famous, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Jack, how are you doing? The now bearded one. I'm trying, yeah. I'm trying oh, out the wow. beard. <laughs> wow. The now bearded one. So yeah. awesome. So this we're, we're doing the show here, Jack, and I happen to check over. I see on Twitter a DM group open up and I see you're mentioning stuff and, <laughs> and you're talking about it. And I'm like, and I was saying on the show, I said, Oh, I just got a message from someone that they might be announcing something tonight. And so I tried to sweet talk you here to, to be able to come <laughs> on and we could get the, uh, the, uh, the exclusive because as, as <laughs> ma you all may know from our, our first episode, when we interviewed Jack, Jack's Canadian as well. He's living in the U S but once a Canadian, always a Canadian. <laughs> so Jack's giving us the the world exclusive. We're using our Canadian card to get this here, so that Jack can make his his announcement for for the community. It's it's true. I am a secret secret Canadian. Yes. I I like I like to say that I I moved from Canada to South Carolina, and those two accents just like annihilated. It's like two <laughs> two two waves annihilating that I now have some kind of generic accent. Um, but <laughs> but yes, triple superstar in the chat yep. is correct. Uh, we are here to announce the Winter Community <laughs> Championship. So. Uh, we're going to be sponsoring another um, community tournament 
um, you know, doesn't doesn't the month of January just always kind of suck? I don't know, it always <laughs> sucks for me. So, sort of. yeah. I guess, I guess suck is not the is not a PC word, but it's uh, you know it's always kind of like a down a downer month. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and so I was thinking that like, uh, yeah, mid, mid January to, to like mid February, let's do another, another championship. And so I think we'll, we'll kind of model it after what we did for the summer community championship. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll have, uh, I think three or four, three or four weeks in the finals. Um, and I think, I think I'm ready to say that we'll have, a. You know the you know the Winter Olympics is always a little bit less than the Summer Olympics, so we'll do five five hundred dollar <laughs> champion uh, <laughs> champions prize for the for the Winter Community Champion. Um, wow! And we'll have this some prizes cool. for each of the uh, each of the four weeks. Some details to follow, but we're we're gonna wow. do it. So stay tuned wow. for <laughs> for January. Wow! So so this is like in the very early stages. You just literally just reached out maybe about ten or fifteen minutes ago. So this is hot off the presses, <laughs> exclusive from Jack. Uh, again, another reason why we love the Stadia community. It's like we're coming together. We're we're creating these events: the Summer Community Championships, the Winter Community Championships, uh, Caring from the Clouds. Uh, we have the uh, the community plays from Google themselves. It's like there's no shortage of community love uh, from everybody. And this is awesome. And again, thank you so much, Jack, uh, for coming on here. Uh, thank yeah, you for the <laughs> super, so super sticker earlier. Happy, happy second <laughs> stadium anniversary. Stadia anniversary. Uh, really do appreciate it. You're a fantastic individual. And I'm glad uh, to be able to call you my friend. Mm. Yeah, me me too. I think uh, I'm trying to rope uh, Ninja into helping organize. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just saw it, but definitely, I'm definitely into it. I, I would. I'm glad to help. I, I said even at the end of the, the first championship that uh, I would be. I'd, I'd be glad. I'll gladly help if you need any help into another one. So uh, it's going to be very exciting. I'm going to put a lot of effort in it for sure. So uh, I, I need to read it. I haven't read anything yet. So. Uh, I'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't awesome. realize you guys were still going when I when I sent that message. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. yeah. <laughs> now, that, that's actually perfect here. So we're going to close out the show today with that epic announcement. Thank you again, Jack, so much. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for who's been here, uh, help support us. Uh, Thank you so much. Happy second Stadia anniversary. Happy Stadia anniversary, everybody. We'll see you again next Friday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend. Have a good one, guys. Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.